My name is TJ Gamble and this is Bruzel. But what does it actually take to get one of these in the state of Alabama? It's all told we spent about 400 bucks, but this is what we got. That's a good whiskey. There's a lot going on there. All right, we are back on this Monday evening. Hopefully y'all had a good weekend. I had a pretty good weekend. It was a it was an uneventful weekend, which is a good weekend for me these days because normally there's a whole lot going on. Looks like we've got 80 something folks in the chat right now just jumped in here. So I see Nate and Kyle in there, William, Smokey, and we're trying to get some justice for folks in Australia that could not get a barrel pick. I apologize. Yes. I, I'm trying to be above board and above the law in, in every regards and just unfortunate that I couldn't find a retailer to ship it. Hal Jarvis dropping vulgarities in the chat over there. I know, I saw War that. Eagle to you, Hal. War Eagle. What's going on, Hello, Chuck? Hello, everybody. Y'all give me an audio check in the chat for me if you would. Hopefully it all sounds good. I've been adjusting the levels a little bit, um, getting this microphone a little further away from us. So hopefully everything sounds good there. Usually my voice just carries, so it, you know I'd probably put the microphone in the next room. It'd be just fine. You could. Yeah. You so definitely could. We've got a couple of fun things planned, and then it's just going to degrade into whatever we feel like doing at that point. Who knows what we're going to come up with? You never can tell. But we're yeah. trying to build a little more structure into these, and this is kind of baby steps in that direction. So the first thing we're going to do is I have right here in my possession, they just arrived Friday, the first Brusel store picks that we did back in November. So it has been four full months since we tried this guy and picked it out of the four samples that Barrel Craft Spirits gave us. And I know it's pretty far out there, but it's got the little Brusel sticker on it here. Y'all can see those in the Discord if you want to. A lot of good photography and a lot of good feedback on them. Like everybody seems to be liking it so far. That's so. great. All right, um, let's give this a try. I can't. I just can't wait. Like we got to jump right into this. Grab us a couple of glens over there, Jill, if you would. They're yeah, just on the drying rack probably be best. Have one with me if you have this bottle at home. There's still forty six or so of them left. Now, I'm gonna shoot a short tomorrow, and that'll come out later this week. And I expect them all to get sold. So if you want to grab one. Uh, now's the time to do it because there's like 46 of them left. Now's the time. Yes. Fresh cork pop. Let y'all hear this. It's a little damp. It's a little damp cork pop. But we're going to try this. And then Jill and I have each just randomly picked a bottle and given blind. So I'm, Jill's going to have to try to tell me what she thinks of this whiskey and see if she can guess what it is. Probably not. I don't, even know, if she's, I don't even know if she's had this one. But that's part of it. Tell me if it's good or not, and then yeah. we'll tell you what the bottle is. And she you picked you one for me. You have to tell me what it is, right? I mean, I, I would like to, but we'll see. I mean, see. I think at this point you should be able to tell me what it is. Uh, there's like 350 bottles in here. I don't know if I can tell you what I it think is you should at be able to, Don't y'all think you should be able to tell me what yeah. it is? I think so. James asked how these bottles right here go for $110. Now, we have been tweaking the shipping to try to get it lower. It's 20 ish dollars to ship. So you're going to be $130 to $140 all in, depending on where you're shipping it. Now, I know it's an expensive bottle, and we're working working on a barrel pick that maybe is a little more cost affordable for everybody for the next one. This this one was pricey. I get it. That's MSRP. Like that they don't want me to sell it for less than MSRP, so that's what we went with on that one. Doing good, Alex. Doing good. It smells Roswell, good. New Mexico. We were just there. We were there not long ago. Got a little did a little uh, shopping, a little bourbon shopping. I don't think we we didn't find anything in Roswell. Not much. I think I bought the the white dogs, the Buffalo Trace white dogs in Roswell. I, I could I be wrong. Remember, but we were there. What's up, Vermont? All right, so we're going to try this barrel pick. What do you think about the nose here, Jill? Nose is really good. It's got a nice, pleasant sweetness yeah. to it with just a little bit of oakiness. I don't even... Okay, maybe a little bit of oakiness. Rochester, New York, and Oklahoma aliens. That's what we were looking for. We didn't find any. <laughs> the dude at the liquor store is like, you here hunting for aliens? And I'm like, I mean, yeah. He's like, well, if you find any, take them all home with you. <laughs> I was like, okay, that sounds good. Albuquerque was there too. You just passed through there, right? I just, well, I stayed the night there. That's where I stopped and got a hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we were on the way out. Yet. You weren't out there, yeah. Appreciate it, poor decisions. Hey, Eldon. Oh. Man, that's a nice that pour. Smells really good. That's a good. That's a good bottle of whiskey. We did. We did really good on that one. 
Now, it's high proof. What's the proof on this? 114, is that right? 113.6. So it's got a lot of proof to it, which is probably a little high for, like, the first pour of the night. Like, this is literally yeah. the first thing I've had since I don't even know when. I guess I filmed a few videos yesterday, so this is the first thing since yesterday. But up front, it's just kind of sweetness on the front of the palate. Um, I would like to next time maybe get a little bit more going on on the front of the palate. The finish is just a nice, warm, oaky hug. So we could, it's got a decent mouthfeel. I'd say above average for sure. But the mid palate on it is just exceptional. There's just a lot going on. So, you know, we, we could, it could, you know, if I was going to give it a bruisal score, I don't know. I, I'm, what I'm going to do is have this put in one of our blinds. So I don't skew it. Like, it'll just be added into one of the blind tastings we do. It's just very smooth. But I, I think this is drink. probably, this is going to be well on into the 60s, I would think. It's going to be into the 60s for sure with a bruisal score. We'll say. I mean, because you can't judge availability because you can't freaking get another one, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, once they're gone, they're gone. So that might, might hurt anymore. it a little bit. Yeah. Are you going to, oh, I have a good question. What's the question? Are you going to save one? Oh, I've got a bunch of. I had I eighteen know. of them sent here. I know. So. But are you going to save one and not open it? I don't. What would I save it for? I don't know. Just because it's your first barrel pick. I mean, I'm gonna have six of them for sure. I keep back just kind of as a lifetime supply of this thing, um, just kind of to remember it. But realistically, everything so, I don't have so, a bottle I will not open. So when you hit a million subscribers, you can open it. Well, that's gonna be this year sometime. I, might, I probably okay. won't finish this bottle <laughs> before mind. we hit a mill. At Never the rate mind. we're going. The blind will be fun. And this blind's going to be fun, too. We have a good time with these. I don't know what Jill picked. I, t I told Jill, I was like, anything you want to pick, just let's not do the BTAC stuff. Like, let's stay away from that. Let's not go crazy with that. But anything you want. So I'll be, I'll be interested to see what she... Uh, I'm assuming it's mid-chef or bottom chef because she can't reach the top. And I didn't hear her get out of stool. I can reach the top when I get a stool. <laughs> But you didn't get a stool. Maybe I was quiet about you it. You might have been. You might, I was in you the other know. room. I was. I had my headphones on. So I, I do a lot of things all day long. Very sneaky. You, you're very sneaky. You I feel you that. underestimate the sneakiness. Code Alamode is watching from the university library. Don't get in ah. trouble. Albert's hitting 120 proof going serious. Mandy says, I uh, got my bottle last week and it's delicious. Great pour, neat in a Glen Cairn. Thank you, Mandy. Love to hear that. Appreciate it. Cheers from Phoenix. Awesome. This is really good. Do, do you have your blind bruisal score shirt on tonight? I do not. Are I don't, you, no, you? I have got bourbon. It's a got bourbon shirt. Is that, that's one, one of the ones of you the got one, at Buffalo Trace? Yeah, one went, went on our trip. <laughs> it's, it's, okay, so I'm trying I'm trying to get a, a store pick from Buffalo Trace, like of any of their products, preferably Weller Antique 107. And I've got several avenues by which I'm trying to obtain this. So I sent them an email, and I was like, hey, here's an idea. How about we come do a video for you? Like, I gave them the credentials of the channel, showed them the stats. I was like, how about we come, like, highlight Buffalo Trace Distillery, do a tour, tour. shoot some videos, and do a barrel pick? And uh, I sent the PR media person this, and they, they replied back this morning. They're like, yeah, if you want to do a barrel pick, just sign up in the system like everybody else, and we're pretty good on our videos. Thank you. Uh <laughs> I was like, well? Well? I might, okay. I might have to find a different angle, I guess. Gonna have to find a different one. Okay. I haven't had a lot of Colorado whiskey, Big Joe. Not really sure. Don't know about Ballatin, um, or and I've had, haven't had Breckenridge. This one's got me. My mouth's all dry. Breckenridge. Breckenridge. An old elk recommendation? Uh, the old elk I have is pretty good. Hopefully there is more B-Tag, but what is it, like eight? Years old for like the youngest of them, so probably be a decade before we see it. I live close to Weldon Mills. Nice. <laughs> There's probably a lot of folks, Primal, that have gotten a, a bourbon education in a college library. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Buffalo Trace has um, finished their still where they're going to double their output, but it's still got to age. Oh. So they're going to be making twice as much, but like realistically, did they double their warehouse space too? I. I'm don't know. I'm sure they have the space. I, you, I hope they have the space. But, you know, you have some products that come from a certain warehouse. And it comes from a certain place in those certain warehouses. Yeah. 
So, like, Blanton's all comes from Warehouse H, and it comes from certain places in Warehouse H. And realistically, if they have to change that, they may have to change the, the whiskey, right? They may have to change okay. their formula. And so, there's only so much whiskey can go in Warehouse H. What are we getting on the notes? You talking about on this right here? Um, I get a lot of oak, a lot of corn sweetness all the way through. Um, there's a little bit of kind of a chocolate toffee note there to me, just a just a little bit um, on on the notes, if that's what you're asking about. How old is the barrel pick? This is actually a blend of four different whiskeys into a yield that's equal to about a um, into a, about a barrel's worth, right? So 180 bottles, and it is 75% five year old bourbon, 10% seven year, 10% ten year and 5% 17 year. So it has just a nice balance to it. I get some cinnamon. Like a little bar, cinnamon? Like a yeah. You, yeah, maybe on the finish just a hair, for sure. 14 new hairs, warehouses on the farm on the hill. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. There you go. They're ready. Now, I'll be interested In though, words. do they double the amount of product they're putting out? Like do they double the amount of Buffalo Trace you're getting? Because that doesn't come from a particular warehouse. They'll probably do that. But, like, do they just introduce a bunch of new labels, too? Mm -hmm. Don't know. Uh, Luca Mariano. I've had a little bit of one of them. It was really young. Was it, was it my thing? Brandon, what's going on? Definitely recall reading that they built quite a few Rick houses. Hopefully, it'll be easier for this North Carolina boy to get their products again right now. Yeah, I understand that. Um, does your palate change towards before food and or after you start. Sure, anything you eat could have an impact on your palate, for sure. Absolutely. So, so Nate gets the cinnamon, too. He said Aww, cinnamon yep. hits him big. And that may be what I was describing yeah. kind of as a, what did I say, a graham cracker? Or, I think it's cinnamon. I said, uh, yeah, I think that's a good characterization of it. New subscriber, D. Willett. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, Thomas. Or Tomas. There's no H. It's Tomas, Tomas. if there's no H, right? Mm -hmm. Got me hooked on the Turkey 101. That's a fantastic bottle, and I'm out of it. I'm out of Turkey 101. Jill's like, did I get Turkey 101? No, I know what I got. <laughs> I know what I poured. Another pour? We should have another pour of this. You think we should have another one, Jill? Is it too I'm much working for you? on it's the first too, one, babe. A little too high proof mm -hmm. for you. I do need another pour of something. I'm we do working have, on the first one. We do have this 50-year-old brandy right here. Yeah. What do you think of that? I think I'm working on the first one. You think you're still working on it? Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, okay. you can do whatever, but I'm working on this one. All right. Yeah, Wild Turkey 101 and Rare Breed are legendary. The Bama drop this month is kind of weak because they've got the quarterly lottery thing happening next month. So it's really just Blanton's and Eagle Rare and a few other allocated items. Are you going? Uh, Yeah, I'll probably go grab a bottle of Blanton's and Eagle Rare. Just somebody always wants them. Marty's trying to get one from me right now. I think he wants to give it to a co-worker of his. So, um, Been sipping Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. I just did a video about that. It'll be coming out, a short, be coming out this week. Appreciate it, Josie Wells. The store pick, you've missed a little bit of the store pick here. I think it's really good. Now, it's not, it's not as good as what I was going for. I was really going after like a total wine store pick. But with Total Wine, they don't do a store pick with 180 bottles. They did like a huge blend, mm. and they had probably thousands of bottles. So theirs was a little more robust and full-flavored all the way across the palate. This one is a little mid-palate heavy, but I still think the flavors on it are exceptional with a nice mouthfeel. Nice viscosity, thickness to it. Thickness. It's a thick boy. <laughs> Order it a boy? by second. Why is it a boy? Because it is high proof and rude and mean and abrasive. It well, that could be really... you. That could be you. <laughs> Never mind. It's a girl. I didn't know. look at those hips. Look at those hips, Jill. Those I guess those are shoulders. But anyway, it's got <laughs> yeah, that's right. Got, got the hips down here. Okay, those are not hips. <laughs> They're too high. Ah, uh, any way to get it in Canada? Uh, the the retailer said U.S. only. Like it's just we're trying to stay within all laws, right? A Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof pick would be a great pick. I'm with you there, Brandon, for sure. You going to pop open your estate sale finds? Yes. So what we're going to do is we've got, 
I think they're in the back. Um, we've opened a couple of them, and we've got one in particular. So we we went to, we found, I'm not even going to talk about where or how, but we found some old bottles of whiskey. And I, I got an old bottle of Rebel Yale made by Stitzel Weller in the late 1960s. Completely unopened, sealed, tax, tax strip, and everything completely in, uh, intact. We're going to try to plan a meetup for later this year, and I want to save it, and we may we may open it at that meetup, right? We may, if we get a bunch of people at the meetup, we may have a VIP event for patrons or something. If we, it's a small group at the meetup, because honestly, there's there's only so many ounces in yeah, that thing, I can't, bottle. you know. <laughs> so, depends on how many people are at that meetup as to how we distribute it, but I think I'm going to save it and share it with y'all. Like, that would be fun. That would be so. fun. It's going to be hard because I really want to drink this thing, but um, it's going to be difficult. Jason and Kelly from Canada. Nice. Thank you, Jason, for joining and Kelly. BT and Weller Special Reserve in the last six, seven weeks in Northern Illinois. Uh, now, this is this should be cash strength of whatever the blend came out as because the four samples they gave us all had different strengths right around this. Um, so I, you know, they could have picked it, but I think it's cash strength, but it's, you know, it's obviously a blend. So I, am not a hundred percent sure. It's probably not exactly as it came out of the barrel, but it could be, I, I don't, I didn't, I had, definitely didn't ask them to water it down any. I want it full strength. <laughs> Great. April fool's joke would be an old crow or aristocrat barrel pick. Um, yeah. Or a mellow, mellow corn or a Malort barrel pick or something. Is that what you found on our trip? That corn thing? Mellow corn. It's over there. Yes. Mellow corn. You want to try mellow corn? Gio? Uh, no, I don't. Well, it's just all corn whiskey. No, Brandon, we are not a little lit. We just got started literally the first <laughs> pour. Uh, just, I just tongue tied sometimes, man. My mouth is just dry as can be today. Like I literally haven't even finished this. Yet. Yeah. I'm just cotton mouth, <laughs> man. Just cotton mouth. Sorry about that. If it comes across otherwise. I'll, you know, I'd probably say my ABC's backwards, but that... Can you say your ABC's backwards? I have to think about it. Think about it. Say your ABC's backwards. No, you say yours backwards. You come up with some crazy idea like that, and you try to push it off on me? I don't think Z, so. Z, Y, X, I'm too w, old to think about that. V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, M, N... L K J I H G F E D C B A. Woo! Look I'm at not sure you. that was right. I'm not sure that was right. That took some thinking. You see my <laughs> eyes roll up in my head when I was trying to do that. I'm not sure. That's, that's not an easy thing to do. Lord. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. I had to stare off into no, space on that you. one. Appreciate it, Airborne. Um, best of the Maker's products. For me, the one I like the most is FAE01, which was like their limited release last year. Um, outside of that, it's going to be some barrel strength store pick, I'm sure. Lawrence from Tokyo. Wild Turkey 101, eight year. You're going to go check and see what that was, too? I'm going to text the girl okay. to make sure they open. Some, some noise upstairs, so she's got to make sure they're all right. Sounds like they dropped something. Uh, rare breed are the reliable daily sippers here in Japan. Both are high quality and budget conscious pours. Okay, yeah, those right are excellent choices heads. for sure. Just get in the back, watch your head. <laughs> exactly. Ah, uh, thank you, wrestling. The bourbon hunting videos are a lot of fun. Uh, we've got a couple more coming here pretty My soon. My favorite too. was Disney. Oh, the Disney video is your favorite because that My was your favorite. idea because you tricked me into it. I need everybody to get behind these. Come on now. You gotta watch the Disney videos. I so need Jill everybody can go. to get behind me on this. Yeah. Okay? Yes, we do love weeded bourbons, Jacob. Do love weeded bourbons for sure. Absolutely. My a lot of my faves are gonna be the Weller stuff. Um what's up, Sparky? Give me another Glen Cairn, Jill. I'm going to try this. This is yours. I'm I was about to drink the one I poured for you. And that wouldn't be good because I'm pretty sure I could guess the one I poured for you. Aren't we gonna do this together? Yeah, you do yours. Get I'm, your not, I'm not done. Slow oh. down. You're going too fast. Slow down. I thought you were finished. <laughs> no. Okay, sorry. Maybe you're going too slow. I guess I could just come back to that one. No, you finish it. It's okay. We got time to keep. I mean, good. We got time to keep. Why are you in a hurry? Mark. What's the small bottles? Okay, so Jill picked a bottle from behind me. 
And uh, that's what's in this one. And then I picked a bottle randomly for Jill to try. So she gets a blind pour, I get a blind pour, and then we just tell how good it was, and then we laugh at each other, and if we guess it, we win the internet for the night. What now? We well, win the internet. We win the internet. That's what we win. What we does have, that mean? It, just nothing. It means you win nothing. Oh, okay. Absolutely no. It means you're just awesome. Oh, yeah. Japan's resurgence. Well, I mean, Japan's um, interest in bourbon actually kept bourbon going for a long time when it wasn't so popular in the U.S. Tell her to quit babysitting her Glenn. I know. She's just been sniffing that thing for like, <laughs> how long we been on? 20 <laughs> minutes? And you've just been sniffing it? Lord have mercy. How'd you not drink that fast? It's okay. Take your time. Best old fashioned in Disney. We need to get. Yeah, we need to go to Disney World now and do it. Yes, right? Is that what we I mean? so totally agree. Yes, yeah, that's happening. Sorry for you non Disney fans. I understand. Whatever. That's that's personal decision. But I love me some Disney and Disney World bourbon hunting is happening. Okay, I'm sure it's gonna. I, I I assure you, it will happen at some point. It will yes. happen. I will try to delay it as far out as I possibly can, <laughs> but yeah. War Eagle said for make Jill wear her Disney ears. Hey, you ain't got to you ain't got to force make her. Yeah, she just. I will go put them on right now. Won't bother me at all. Adam got the Bruzel Glen Cairns in today. Awesome, Yay. nice. It is always the way with women, Sparky. What's up, country boy? <laughs> Been watching the shorts for a while. Love the hunting videos as well. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. The Disney show was awesome, Larry says. Well, thank you. Yeah. The Epcot Around the World Drinking Tour. If, yeah. Like, so we're doing soon, soon. It may be a few weeks, but soon we are splitting the channel into a, this will be a bourbon channel, and the other channel will be just all other alcohol that we try. So we'll do beer, mixed drinks, whatever. And then that looks that looks that like a really good right, video for yeah, that. Yeah, that we, fits we, right into that. That opens and up the topics a little more on that a, one. There's a restaurant in downtown Disney, I believe. It's something called something Pig. I don't know. It's like a barbecue restaurant. Okay. But they have a really good bourbon selection, and they. Yeah, it's one hundred and seventy dollars a pour, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. But it's tax deductible, so. <laughs> you still gotta be able to afford it. So, but anyway, they have like where you can make your own old fashioned. I told you about it. Like you put okay. whatever bourbon you want in. You just like so it's a lot like you're at home. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're paying more. But for you it. just pay one hundred seventy dollars. But you're in downtown yeah. Disney. Yes, best place on earth. Yes, having fun with your family. You don't have fun with us here. Yeah, but I like Disney too. <laughs> Scott, we will. We should. I don't know if the website's set up, but if you want a Glen Cairn, I'm sure we can set the website up to ship Glen Cairns to Canada. But as far as the barrel pick, unfortunately, we cannot. We have hunting videos. Yeah, they're bourbon hunting videos, Nat. That's what they're talking about. They're the long forms. So, Michael wants us to start over. Michael who? Michael Madigan says he's late. Oh, he'll, sorry. He'll start over. Yeah, okay. Rewind. We okay. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm not even halfway done with this, so yeah. we're good. We just start over. It's all yeah. good. Waiting for someone to open Bourbon Land? That's right. That's what we're talking about. We need a Bourbon, bourbon land. land. Yeah. Where there's like, there's just like, I don't know, a DUI simulator. I don't know what, you, I don't know well, what that I would think, do. Well, I think the new sobriety test, I was watching TikTok the other night. Okay. And they were giving this woman a sobriety test. And she failed miserably, by the way. But They usually do if they make TikTok. But I think now it should be the whole alphabet backwards thing that you just did. No, that's terrible. I would, I would <laughs> Like, almost everybody would fail that. I've never had one of those, and I hope I pray. I shouldn't ever have one of those because I don't drink while I'm Damn. driving. But, oh, that would be so horrible. I would not want one of those. The bowling alley in Disney has bourbon and sushi. I saw that. And, Kyle, you're right. It's the polite pig. That's what the it's called. The polite pig. Okay. The polite pig. Okay. Appreciate it, David. I didn't know the bowling alley had it, though. Me either. Me either. Well, I've checked that out. I didn't know there was a bowling alley. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yes, you did know there was a bowling alley. I did not know there was a bowling yes. alley in Disney. I, downtown Disney. I, maybe I black out every time we go just so I don't remember what we spent. <laughs> like, that's the only way I get through it. I just go into a walking coma <laughs> the whole time I'm there. So I didn't know there was a bowling alley in downtown Disney. Don't, don't want to know there's a bowling alley well, in downtown now Disney. now we're going to it because okay. it has bourbon. Eric wants to know our favorite alcohol that's not bourbon. Bowling. It's got to be beer. Oh, yeah, beer. Yeah. You've been wanting to go bowling? Well, we did try to go bowling. We tried to go that bowling. We tried to go on a date night and go bowling. So my dumb ass went, tried to go bowling without socks, and apparently that's not a thing. Um, no. 
we get there, and I'm like, oh, let me get my socks out of my purse. He's like, oh, I didn't bring socks. Yeah, I'm not wearing and socks. And I thought he was joking because he always does stuff like that. But no, he wasn't joking. He didn't bring socks. So we had I just to go slipped to my CVS. shoes on to run out. Didn't even think we about socks. We had to go to CVS and buy socks. And we did that. Probably paid $12 for a pair of socks. It was 8 $8 for a pair of socks. And then we get back to the bowling alley, and we walk in. Clothes for a private event. Yep, bought socks for nothing. And we weren't invited to the private event, so we didn't get to go bowling. <laughs> Alamone says, cop asked me to say the alphabet backwards. I just handcuffed myself. <laughs> uh, there's got to be an abandoned theme park somewhere that we should do that. Oh, yes, War Eagle One. We will have to spend multiple days in Disney. Don't multiple. Be, put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Mid-October, empty, no lines. Ah, we've tried every time, man. There's always freaking lines. Our kids are homeschooled, so they don't have to get out. We just take them out whenever yeah. we want to. Did we ever find? Did I find an Eagle Rare on my trip? Um, I didn't buy any Eagle Rare. I don't recall if I saw any. There were quite a few bottles that I didn't buy. I found everything. <laughs> like, realistically, I'm not joking when I say I found everything. All the yeah. BTAC stuff. Like, I found several museums in, what was it, New Mexico? Like a lot of those stores through there, and they're like two, three thousand dollars for bottles of whiskey, and I'm just like rolling on. Uh, <laughs> what's my favorite beer? Jeers, je, jeer, jeers, jeer, jeer. <laughs> jeers, jeers over here. <laughs> Drools. Um, her favorite is a Blue Moon. Is what I'm saying. Jills yes. is a Blue Moon, and specifically a Blue Moon on draft. Yes, draft Blue Moon. For me, I'd like brown ale. So good brown ale. Cigar City Maduro. I tend to like a lot. Uh, red clay here locally has a good brown ale when I can find it. I need a water fountain filled with bird dog salted caramel. Will burn. That's mm. wow. That sounds rough, man. I'll be honest, <laughs> it sounds rough. Reno nine one one episode ABC's back. That I haven't works. seen that one. What's up, Archer? Hop slam. Don't know what that is, but hey, yeah, taking a break from bourbon every once in a while makes sense. Yes. Uh, I did not have the special release 2022. Was it the dub, twice barreled or whatever they call it? Didn't didn't find that. At least you got a good story out of it, Jill. We did the bowling thing. We but did. We it did. was all right. They did not know who we are. No, it's we, I'm getting to where I get recognized all, at least once, just about every time I go somewhere, but not often. Still, is that a problem? It was funny. I went and saw my grandma this weekend. You yeah, know, my mom. And my daddy was there, and he said, I saw you on that Facebook drinking that liquor. Saw me on the No, you, me. <laughs> he didn't see you on Facebook. I know. I was like, Facebook? I'm not on Oh, he, he saw the he saw the Disney thing. That's what it was. Oh, he maybe. saw the Disney one. I was that's like, on Facebook. okay. Yeah. Okay, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> drinking that liquor. Drinking that liquor. Damn degenerate. <laughs> if you're watching, daddy, I love you. Alex will be in Disney World. Let's do a meetup. Yeah, no. For all the walking coma guys. Yeah. <laughs> Gilbert bought the barrel pick. Not tried it yet. Do that. Let me know what you think about it. Live in Montgomery? Yeah, absolutely, man. We'll get together sometime. Uh, just make sure you're in the Discord. We're trying to plan a, a meetup for a little later for a lot of folks. Uh -huh. Freedom sipping on the barrel pick. Albert it, likes Coors Banquet. You like those? Too. No, I love banquets. Banquets are the ones I drink the most. They're not my I favorite seen necessarily. Them lately. But, well, I've drank a lot of them lately. Have you? I bought twenty four of them in while I was well, in Vegas. Well, that was Vegas. I haven't seen them here lately. Mm, like when I, I go to Kroger, been, I haven't yeah. seen them. I haven't been looking. Hello, back at you, Ham. <laughs> hazy beer's a crime, Jill. Talking about your Blue Moon. It's unfiltered hazy beer. It's not clear. But Blue Moon's not an IPA. No. Uh -uh. I'm, oh, the, so then maybe they're talking There's about Hazy Brand kind of, yeah, beer. Yeah, Hazy okay. IPA. I think that's like Yeah, a, no, Hazy IPA. Well, that's, that's two. Like, I'm talking about Nat, and then and then Nat says Hazy IPA. Okay, yes. Okay. I would agree. I disagree that Hazy beer is bad. <laughs> I agree that IPAs in general are bad, not just Hazy's. All of them. Like, who drinks this crap? How long did it take for him to get right into it? I don't know what am I getting right into. I'm so far behind the chat. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip to the bottom. I apologize <laughs> if I miss it. If I miss it, I apologize. I'm just so far behind the chat. It's hard to have a conversation here. Yeah, t uh, Gilbert, there's a Discord. We've got a Discord server. It'll drop here in just a minute automatically, or somebody will drop the link for you. Um, Chris is in Montgomery as well. A Victoria Bitter? I have not. <laughs> IPAs go. Oh no 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 no. Mr. High Climber, AP, IPAs are like ruined beers. It's like somebody said, let's make a beer. Oh, we screwed this up. 
Hey, let's we gotta pass it off as something. Let's see if the hipsters will like it. Sierra Nevada. So I'm gonna I, that's probably what I'm gonna do in the new channel. I'm gonna try every IPA I can get my hands on until I like one. Oh well. I was going to say, you don't like them. Well, that that just that's infinite content glitch is what that is. Because <laughs> okay. I just try them all. Try At them all. At some point, I might get used to them. I don't know. Suggest them all. Subscription mailer bourbon tasters. Uh, we're, Lauren, we're actually talking to one right now about a potential sponsorship. And I, I've never tried it. So it could be cool. We're going to try it and see if it works out. And, and then uh, I'll let you know more about it. Guinness. IPA is like weed beer. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Sour beers, no, 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 no. That's worse than IPAs. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. No, that uh, we got that that whatever we had up in the refrigerator for it was horrible. It was yeah. a sour. I don't even know what it was. Oh my goodness! I had to pour. I poured them all out the other day. I was like, well, I just keep them here in case somebody who comes along wants one, but they were horrible. I just mm -hmm. poured them all out. The Hershey Porter is actually on our content list. I got to get one here pretty soon. I have. I don't think I've tried it though. Elvis juice. What is that? What is that? Porters and stouts. What temperature is best to keep bourbon at? Room temperature. Like 70 degrees. Ah, minis for the barrel pick for folks that can't afford the whole bottle. Hmm. You know, that might have been, like, I. it's not something I'd considered, Wilbur, until just you mentioned it right now. Like, I've just, you said I've been, Wilbur. it's... Wilbur. Wilbur. Not Wilbur. It's Wilbur. Yes, but you said it's Wilbur. Wilbur. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I say Jill Gamble, it's still Jill Gamble. I know, it's but not it's Jill when you Gamble. put it so close together, it sounds like Wilbur. I assume that's the joke. I don't know. Uh, maybe his name is Will Burr, but it's Wilbur. Okay. Like, is it not I Wilbur? Would, Are mean, you not Wilbur? Yes, it is Wilbur. Yeah, not it's Wilbur. Wilbur. It's Wilbur. <laughs> it's, I, we're saying the same thing, Jim. Okay. Saying All right. the same. Move on. Move I'm putting on. the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable move or something. Along. What am I doing? Uh, it's a good idea. I had not considered it. I don't know if I have enough of them left at this point, unfortunately. But I, I should have asked if they could barrel them mm. or bottle them. Like, take a couple of cases and put them in small bottles. Small. Next time we do an expensive pick, I'll see if that's an option. Uh, I have not tried any Canadian beers that I am aware of. How do we get the barrel pick? Uh, Robert, I can't tell you. Like, the, these social platforms, uh, it's against their terms of service for me to tell you where you can get alcohol. So we don't. But I bet you could figure it out. And if you want to buy yourself a Glen Cairn with the Bruzel logo on it, you can do so at Bruzel.com. We have all the best merch at Bruzel.com. But I can't tell you where you can get the bottle. But... Glen Cairns with Bruzel logos. <laughs> Bruzel.com. Yes. Hershey Porter is amazing. Awesome. It's bad. Conf we get conflicting information. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Good bourbon with a good IPA. Bitter on sweet. Interesting. We, we definitely need to do a little more rum stuff for sure. I like rum. Yep. Will done messed up. That it, is it the is joke. joke. See? Yeah. You're right. Okay. You're right sometimes. Apology? Sorry. Is an apology in order? I'm sorry. Tell me, just go ahead and tell me I'm always right. No, because you're not always right. Almost always right? No. You saying I'm, this time, almost, I'm almost always wrong? This time you are right. Okay, okay. There you go. That's all you get. All right. Well, at least I was right and I wasn't like offending somebody True. or making fun I of their name. I was just trying to help you out because, you know. I know, I know. Sometimes. Uh, we, we're still talking about that, Alex. He's doing them now. Like, we could buy it. I just, I don't love how his barrel picks have to work. And first of all, they're they're going to have to age for four years. So we can't do a barrel pick and have it in four months. We do a barrel pick, we have it in four years. We may try to do something around the meetup to where we have a bunch of people come in and we all buy in on the barrel. And then we have a barrel that's our own and we get to try it. Like, when we do the meetup, I'm going to try to do it there. And we may have him distill the stuff there or at least have some of the new make spirit from it. So we can try the new make. We can buy the barrel and put our names on it, sign the barrel. And then four years from now, we'll we'll try it. What do you think? Four think that's years a good is a long time, but it's a good idea. It's, you know, four years goes by. Like, it they, does go by fast. I'm looking at my Facebook memories, and four years ago yeah, wasn't that long. That was like last week. Plantation rum. I'll have to give that a try. Sometimes right, Smokey. That's right. Sometimes. Sagamore. Uh, maybe. That's on the list. Um, 
That's on the list for sure. I, I don't have, like, I haven't talked to them or anything. We've got a couple we're talking to right now. I want to go film that, get those out, and then we start working on a few more. But we've got we've got feelers out to three or four places for, for to do a barrel pick, but we'll just kind of see what comes from that. I don't have any inside connection, so it takes a while. Uh, I am in Alabama, Todd. Yes, Opelika. So much controversy, Wilbur. It's, it's only controversial to Jill. I was just trying to help you out. Yep. See, was, Riser says it's it's on video. Right, that you were right one time. That's on video. Congratulations. One time you were right. It's on video. Okay. Always right. No, one time. Always right. Happy wife. Don't get the knife. What? <laughs> Don't get it. <laughs> You're so crazy. So you try it before and after. Yeah, with the barrel pick, if we bought a barrel pick from them, we could try it. And then every year when we have a meetup, we could tap that barrel and try it. Yep. And then in four years, we That's could get a bottle. That's kind of cool, though. It'd be pretty neat. That's yeah. kind of cool. Sack of more sherry. I'd have to try one How of those How many would you need like, to do that? How many people would you need to do that? Uh, I don't know. Like, probably 100 in a barrel. And then everybody buy two bottles. Like, your buy-in would get you two bottles when it's bottled. So what he's doing right now is there's a small fee. Yeah. And then there's, I say there's a fee. And then there's the bottling fee at the end. So you basically pay half up front and half oh, okay. when it's bottled, okay, right? Okay. Um, but you need like 100 people to go in and do it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you sample it cast or proof down? When I'm sampling, it's going to be cast strength. If you're talking about the barrel pick, um, it's whatever you're going to buy a barrel pick at, right? You finished that bruisal pick yet, Jill? No, I'm she's not. She's on it. And you can't say she's been talking. I'm work I have been talking. Okay. I've been talking. Bootleg some to Canada. I understand. And, we, you know, we might could find ways to deal with that. Other other folks who do barrel picks, you know, ship it to somewhere where it's legal, and then y'all negotiate on how y'all handle it from there. But um, we'll figure that out. Dr. Disrespect brought you here. Appreciate it, Raymond. One more time than my wife will admit. Fan of the channel from northern Indiana, Ryan. Thank you. Appreciate it. Creek water is the best whiskey on the planet. Hmm. I need some of that then. I'm going to have to pick some up. Will Burr said it's the best live stream he's ever watched. Well, thank you, Will And Wilbur. Nate said absolutely. I you think, missed that. I've missed that. I'm trying to keep up. See? I'm trying to stay down at the bottom. I've blocked Wilbur out now. I, I feel like I've offended him. <laughs> Called him Wilbur. But that's what he wanted. A bruisal store pick with Old Fitz 19 would be nice, Jared. That's never, ever, 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 ever going to happen. But yes. Actually, I would take, what is it, the 13? I think there's a 13. Um, there's like, I don't think there's not a 12. I think there's a 13. There's one year they don't have in there. But I think it's the 13 that is my favorite old fits, and I would just be over the freaking moon about that. Like, I would, the problem is, is nobody would get any but me. I'd just have a whole freaking room full of old fits 13s back there in the decanter bottles. Wow. I'd sell a few. <laughs> yeah. Would you make this meetup pick international? Yeah, I mean, theoretically, we might could, but again, it's just about shipping, right? If we can figure out a way to get you a bottle, you know, if you're in a cool place, Jill will just fly it to you. <laughs> Put it in her luggage. Put it in my luggage. Appreciate it, Darian. Freedom's down. Buffalo Trace bourbon cream pick. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a Buffalo Trace bourbon cream store pick. Is that what we're doing? Um... Just got, I, yeah, so Kyle bought into his barrel picks he's doing. There's like an $80 oh, level, really? $80 up front, and $50 when you get your two bottles. That's so cool. that's what it would cost. So we're, we're going to do one. I don't love that method. Like, honestly, what I want to do, what I want to do, and he said he would be down for this, is I want to buy a commercial building here in Opelika. I want to get a license, and I want to have him distill it and us age it. Could we do that legally? Yeah, with a license, yes. We have to get a license you to do it. You got to go through that whole process of getting a license? Yeah, but I don't think it's, I mean, I don't know how difficult it is. I, yeah. I just assume everything's easy until it's not. I don't think it's easy. Um, but, or, you know, we could, but I just want to, I just want to own the barrel. Like, I, the problem is with what he, the way he's selling it, he's selling it at the same price as if it was a finished barrel that I can get tomorrow, right? And so it's a cool experience, but financially it doesn't make sense to invest in finished prices for something that's not finished especially when i could just roll it i could put it in the back of the lincoln and carry it around for four years and save like ten thousand dollars on the cost of that barrel 
right? So what I want to do is make it cheaper for us to do more store picks so we can do more things. And then he said after the first one, we could contract to steal some stuff. Like we got to have to steal whatever. I just don't like this pay full retail price for it or almost full retail price for it. And then, and then I got to wait four years for it. That's, yeah. I feel like if I'm buying it right when it's made, I should get a steep discount because I'm taking all the risk. Cause if that barrel's bad, oh, that's it's funny. on me. Like if it's a bad barrel, I picked a bad barrel. Something went wrong. I lost my barrel. But so he doesn't have to worry about any of that, right? He doesn't have any holding cost of that barrel. That's why it's worth so much. Um, and the mo these small distilleries, like I'm looking at like Buffalo Trace's store pick. You know what a store pick barrel of Weller Antique 107 is? It's like eight grand. And all these craft distilleries are getting 15 grand for a barrel. So it's like, uh, you know, it's tough. It's tough. All right, so I missed a bunch. We were talking a bunch. Tell us how you put together that sweet bar. Um, well, I, I had a local woodworker do all the woodwork, but yes. you can only see part of that. We got a cool front and all sorts of things. I don't think I have the lights on in the front anymore, but uh, as far as like where we got all the bottles, man, it's just waiting in a whole bunch of lines and getting lucky. The bar is much, much better in person. Oh, yeah, much better in person. <laughs> David Teller, uh, a Brusel Weller Antique 107 pick is absolute tops on my list, but it's nearly impossible to get. So maybe someday, but it might take years, a decade. I don't even know what it's going to take to get those. So, Yeah, exactly, Chris. I'm looking for one that has a little space to store vehicles in as well. Um, I, well, and, and that, I, my goal was to drive it around in the back of the Lincoln for four years. But in Alabama, if you get caught transporting more than five gallons of whiskey, it is like a minimum sentence of a year in jail. Not a maximum sentence of a year in jail. It's like a minimum one year sentence. I can't go if without If you're like you driving around with a, a, a barrel of whiskey you in the back of that. it. So I, that, I haven't done yeah, it. I can't, I, done I can't live without you for I have not done it. And I, they won't give me a license. I called and asked them all sorts of dumb questions, and they're just like, what? <laughs> you serious? Who is this like, guy? Are you serious, man? I was like, yeah. And they're like, no. Ah, uh, do like Jefferson's Reserve instead of a boat. It's aged in a Lincoln. That's exactly what we were going for, David. Just like I could park it in the yep. yard. Like I can have a federally licensed warehouse and I could park the Lincoln in it, but I can't drive it around. Mm. So what you talking about, EB? We don't even know, man. We talking about trying to age whiskey and buy barrels. <laughs> um, talking about silly things. Yeah. What's up, Salty? How are you doing? Hello, Give us Salty. a walk around the bar. I can't move the camera and it is a disaster. Um, let me get it cleaned up, but I, I can't move. I could probably zoom back some here. We got like this guy here. We could zoom back so you can see a little more. Like I said, I unplugged the lights in the front accidentally. I needed that plug the other day, and I haven't plugged them back up. Yeah. But there's these cool it's lights in here. It's actually really messy right now. Um, yeah. Lincoln Maggie's Trunk Blend. It would be Maggie's Batch for sure if it we did that, be. if you oh. get caught. But four years in prison, not good, not good. No. Mm -mm. Put some salt in the bathtub and let the barrel float in it while it ages. It'd be like Jefferson's Ocean at that point, wouldn't it? We just we just sat this out into the ocean and let it float away. I just call it Oak Bowery's Ocean. Oak, Oak, Oak Ocean Bowery. <laughs> Best served while sitting in the Lincoln, for sure. We're 45 minutes in. Jill has not finished a single pour yet. Not a single pour. 45 minutes into this, and she is still I'm on almost first done. freaking almost pour. Done. And I, my mouth's getting dry because I ain't drinking well, you nothing. Can, you don't have to. Like, you don't usually wait on me. <sighs> zoom back out. Everybody wants to zoom out. You don't usually wait on me, baby. Yeah. You want to. Hey, plug in the lights over there. How do underneath. I go underneath. You see that? You see that? Yes. White cord there? I think that may be the front of the bar. Just make sure it's plugged in so they can see the lights. They're probably going to come up bright white when they come on. I'll fix that here in just a second. Mm -hmm. what did you, what did you, un you unplugged the wrong one. Don't unplug any. She unplugging all the stuff. Where? Here, here you go. Oh, this one down here. Yeah, plug it up. There we go. Yeah, look, it came back out the right color. There we go. Now you can see the design a little bit. I don't know. I don't think it goes back any further than that. That camera doesn't anyway. Okay, just so everybody knows, I'm almost done. Appreciate it, Brock. Thank you. Also in Alabama. Did you get a chance to try your Frey Ranch? Yes. So I, 
Freight Ranch Small Batch, we've had for a while. Love that stuff. We tried the rye. Rye's pretty good. Um, not, you know, I just don't love rye, so it's got to be a really, really strong rye. I thought theirs was pretty good. The barrel strength is really interesting, though. What's the chance for a Booker's pick? I don't even know if they do Booker's picks, Coleman, but I would take one. Anybody anybody has any inside connections at a place that does picks, we'll, I'd be happy to film some content of me going to do the pick. Um, but we'll see. It's a beautiful bar from Birmingham. Appreciate it, Todd. Thank you. Um, have you asked about I haven't reached out to Mictors yet, but they're on the list for sure. Oh, Love Mictors stuff. Have you reached out to Peerless? Uh, I have not yet reached out. I reached out to like three or four. I was kind of waiting to hear back. I can't do all the picks at one time, right? Because mm -hmm. I don't have the budget for that, but... Chris is waiting to try mine until I get my Glen can. Care. Hopefully that ships out here pretty soon. We've got, most of them are sent. I think we've got a few going out this week, but most of them have been sent out. So. I know she sent a bunch of them out the other day. Yeah, tons of them have gone out. Somebody ordered the barrel pick there. I'm getting the email, so apparently people pick up my hints. <laughs> my very subtle hints. Upstate New York. Where, what's up there? What can I do a barrel pick at? I love upstate New York. Yeah, it's I've never so been to Upstate beautiful. New York. I've been oh, to the city, but never Upstate. Love it. Jill's been a lot more places. I just work while she travels. She told me today she was going to Branson, and she's like, she told me today she's like, you don't have to come if you don't want to. I, I won't be upset at you. Well, I know like, that well, he, that's you know, awesome. I want him to come. Of course, Thank I you. want you to come. Thank you. I appreciate it. I just got de-invited from <laughs> no, the family you vacation. Did not. You were crazy. You. No, you. Did How much not. are the barrel picks? The barrel picks are uh, the barrel pick. There's 110 bucks plus shipping. Oh, that's mine. No, we swapped already. I don't think we did. We did. Didn't we? I don't think we did. <laughs> Crazy. No, I'm pretty sure we went in and switched when we were talking about it a minute ago. I think I said to not do that because... Okay. Well, then here you go. Swap. No, Before that's... Swap. No, you... We need to ask the audience. Ask a friend. Did we swap... They said we did. Smokey said we swapped. No, we could not have swapped because that means I'm right twice on one live stream, and that's that against the rules. That cannot rule. happen. That's against the rules. <laughs> cannot happen. Yeah, we switched. We did? Yeah. Okay, so that's the one I poured. Yes. Okay. <sighs> I know because I gave if you, you would just not do things out of line, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. If you wouldn't take an hour and a half to drink one pour, then we would have remembered stuff. Well, baby, if I take an hour and a half, then these people can't say we are, like, drunks. Okay, they can still say it. Twice. <sighs> Two times for the Dr. Disrespect folks. Two times. Two time world champion of this Two time live world champion. Yep. Really? Yep. Of what? Being this, right? This live stream. Yep. Um, on this live stream. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. I'll give you a trophy. I don't have one. Right, I'll take this. Here. This is my trophy. This is your trophy. I don't know how to use this. I'm allergic. I'm allergic to bar utensils. If you've watched my videos. Two ton. Oh, God. Come on, Evie. Is that a fat joke? My Four Roses Single Barrel is my new favorite bottle. That's a good one. Hmm. My all-time favorite is William LaRue Weller. This smells good. I don't know what this is, though. <laughs> this one's got me stumped. Enthusiast, Riser says. Yes. How many bottles do you think you have on that wall and what's your most expensive? The most expensive is going to be the Pappy stuff that's like right behind my shoulder here. Um, how many bottles on the shelf? I, it's probably, if you're talking about like also on the bar top, it's over 300 at this point. Is there, no, I don't prefer any bourbon over ice, Larry. Um, it just makes it harsh and bitter for me. So over ice is not my thing. Uh, Jay, we did do um, the best bourbons for beginners. That's a video we did. It's not a series, but we went through and gave the best ones, best eight. It's top five is the video, but we give eight. Cheapest bottle? Uh, probably just like Jim Beam or something like that. I know, David. I know. I know. Imagine it. Woodford Double Oaked is high on my list. I've reached out to Woodford. No response. So, 
Uh, I don't know if I'd compare anything to Woodford. Woodford Double Oak just has its own unique kind of oaky vanilla flavors. Like nothing is exactly like Woodford Double Oak for sure. Nothing wrong with Jim Beam. I'm not hating. What do you do if your cork gets loose? I got like a drawer full of corks over there. I just pop another one in that's a little larger. JTS Brown for $10.99. I don't think I have any. I do have JW Dance. Um, I have some old granddad, some um, very old Barton, stuff like that. That's pretty cheap. 86 proof old Forester. Like there's some some cheaper bottles. I have not had Jefferson's Twin Oak. What do you think of that, Jill? I like it. Okay. It tastes a little oaky. Mm-hmm. But also, I get a lot of cinnamon on it, too. Interesting. Like a ton of cinnamon. I'm not a huge fan of oak, normally. A little too much oak on that one? Eh, I don't know. Let me, Let me try that one. I'm going to try that one. That's the last we have of it. I emptied the bottle. Or maybe I'm lying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we definitely switched. We definitely switched because that tastes just like what I poured you. Hmm. Do I know this? No. Well, that's not fair. It's not fair. I want to know what you think of it. Oh. And the next time you'll know it. Like, I'm not expecting you to be able to guess it. Okay. Just like I'm not going to be able to guess this because I'm not sure what this is. It's really? good. I really thought you would know it. I, you know, there's so many bottles behind me. It, yeah. it gets in your own head here. And we started with high proof stuff. What is it? Somebody said something about like, uh, where was it at? I forgot. I can't find it now. Basically, being called a drunk on a whiskey channel. Ha, I know. Ha, ha. That's what I said. <laughs> but surprise, surprise, yeah, you surprise. You know people, you can drink and not get drunk. It happens. Okay. Um, rare breed. No. 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 Was it the Kentucky Spirit in front of it? No. No. I, I didn't think him. it was. I didn't think it was that cherry. But I was like, eh, maybe my palate was off the other day. I was thinking maybe my palate was a little off today. It doesn't feel like it's off. I almost. It's got wanna, some proof to it. I almost don't want to tell you what it is because now I know it's a is is a it's something I can use to stump you. Well, I like whatever this is, but it is a little too oaky for me. Okay. Funny, I don't get a lot of oak on that. Really? Yeah, it's a really nice, sweet. Mm. I don't know, maybe because of... Drink. There is a little bit of oakiness on the finish. It's the finish, But yeah. that's got a really nice, complex sweetness to it that yes. kind of dissipates it's to a nice, oaky finish. I don't finish. really care for. Really, I like that bottle a lot. I like it, except for I don't care for the oak being left okay. as the last thing I taste. So what did you pour me? I poured you Russell's Reserve single barrel. Yep, that's what I poured. It's been a long time since I've drank that. Mm. It's been a long. Most of the Russell stuff I had left a lot of like bitter oak, and that single barrel doesn't have the bitter oak. Mm. So, so that's why I never would have. But Russell's Reserve is made by Wild Turkey. Okay. Right, which is why I was thinking that was a turkey, turkey product, product. Right, yeah. I haven't had the Kentucky Spirit in a while, so I was like. It tastes like a turkey product, yeah. but I'm not sure what it is. Uh, what you're drinking is WB Saffle. WB Saffle. Also made by Wild Turkey. Really? Yeah. Well, look at us picking the same. All of these, so I've, I've organized, I, when I reorganized the bar, I've put them kind of together by manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So, like, all of this is Buffalo Trace. And then oh, it's 107. Yeah, so it's like Buffalo Trace and then Barton and then Wild Turkey here. You got Maker's Mark there. Over there is Brown Foreman stuff all the way down. And then Mictors oh, and Willets. Oh, so you like then really organized. Up it. top, it's like, it's mostly just like small distilleries. And, you know, of course, you've got the Jim Beam stuff and the Knob Creek stuff. And then a lot of like small distilleries or blenders. Over there, is Heaven Hill and all of their products on that top shelf over there. So I kind of like literally went through and you did some did. serious organization. I'm still way zoomed out. Do y'all like the zoomed out or the zoomed in better? I've tried a, several of the Woodford batch proofs and I really like them. 
Um, I haven't tried. I think they've just come out with some of their limited release stuff this year. What do you do for work while Jill travels? Uh, e-commerce, Wilbur. I'm in e-commerce. I build websites that sell things. Anybody here needs help with their e-commerce, give me a holler. Happy to talk about it at least. Like the zoomed in. Nash gets migraines. Sorry. Okay. Well, Nash, um, take it easy. Relax a little bit. So I'm getting mixed in, in, out, in, out, out. Lord have mercy. <laughs> This we've gotten some mixed results. Do I just need to like go halfway yeah. in between? Is go that what we're gonna do? We're just gonna go halfway in between. Let's let's see. I can, I can change it here. We're gonna we're just gonna zoom partially out like this. How about how about that? How about that? Is that a, is that a good compromise at least? Compromise. Yeah. So you can see the bottles on top a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You like a bartender when zoomed out? I'm. I definitely don't act like a bartender. <laughs> seen me make drinks. Have you ever seen him make a drink? What's the oldest brew ever? Like a beer? I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever done the bourbon trail? A little bit of it, Bluegrass Joe. Not a ton. Yeah, we did a tiny, tiny snippet of yeah, the Yeah, just a little trail. bit. In on Jill and out on me. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> Thank you, Oregon Will. Paducah, Kentucky in the house. Awesome. Uh, yeah, again, Wilbur, I, I'm in e-commerce. We build websites that sell things. So, you know, if you're if you're in e-commerce, B2B e-commerce, we do a lot of automotive, outdoor lifestyle, um, that kind of thing. Solid zoom. This is a good zoom level right here. Good zoom. I just hate it because it shows so much of the door. Like, that's what I'm going to like about the other bar that we're starting on in there is it's going to have these shelves behind me, but there's no, like, it, it'll be brick back there. It'll yeah. just look, I won't have a big freaking door in the way. That looks like it's leaning. The camera has to be leaning a little bit, or I think technically the camera is straight, but it's at a little bit of an angle, which makes the door looks like look like it's leaning there. Super messy. I am very very messy. I'm a great bartender. If you like just alcohol on top of the bar, like if that's your objective, I'm good at it. Nate takes over the channel for April Fools. Just do a. I I do think a Malort store pick or something like that would be pretty funny for for april fools black button haven't tried that world's worst bartender absolute worst absolute. i claim it i own it i got a trophy for that you need a shirt for that we've we talked about i think we were designing some stickers will was designing uh, some stickers i don't know whatever happened to the stickers he had a bunch of them designed one of them was the world's worst bartender uh, but they kept missing my feedback they like the world's worst bartender sticker kept looking like garbage because I'd be like, no, you need to change this. And then you go change everything except for that thing I said he needed to change on it. I don't know. I'm just going to drink this for you so we can just move forward with other things. You do that. I need a Kirkland EB. I'm going to have to get one for sure. It's character varnish. Yeah, there's a lot of character varnish. On Not there. a lot of the bourbons available. I want to try in Central California. Is there a time when it's more available or demand? Demand is just always high right now, Larry. So it's just going to take some luck and some hunting. The pink shirt is where pink it's at. Shirt. Yeah, I was, I was rocking the pink shirt. Yeah, I just I rock the pink shirt when I'm completely out of other shirts. <laughs> this is like TJ needs to do some laundry kind of shirt. And I've, I've, you know. And by TJ, he means Jill. Well, I mean, somebody needs to do laundry, but, you know, you can't just expect your wife to do laundry. She does almost always do the laundry. Almost but always. she almost always waits until I've worn this shirt for three days in a row. <laughs> Is there another set of reviews? Yes. Uh, so we've got a couple of videos coming out this week that'll be kind of bourbon hunting style videos, I believe. Both of them may be bourbon hunting style videos. Um, but I'm shooting another batch. So one day this week, I need you to set up the blinds for me. So you'll get with Will, pull the bottles, pour the blinds. I'll get you some bottle, little mini bottles um, so that I can shoot those reviews. So hopefully next week, you'll start seeing more reviews come out. Need to see that top row. Understand, understand. But you move stuff off the top row. Well, I did move, but like I put the really expensive stuff here in the middle, so it's always visible. Yeah. Um, but that could be problematic when people come over and they just start grabbing bottles because that's what's eye level. Yeah. I was like, why'd you move them down there? I, I just wanted them to be in that Zoom, and now everybody's asking to change the Zoom. So just <laughs> it just worked out. I, I was like, everybody wants to see the expensive stuff, and as soon as I put it on the mid shelf, they're like, I don't want to see that crap. Zoom out. I need to see the top shelf. <laughs> um, Robert likes to watch us instead of drinking. So Aww. that's good. 
Uh, what's my most favorite bottle today? Right now? Today? Like, as of what I'm drinking today? This WB Saffle's pretty good stuff. Mm -mm. It's not as good as that. Okay, that's fair. It's oh, still no. pretty good. Still, It's expensive, though. Those little bitty that, bottles. This? Yeah, it's like 50 bucks for that little bitty bottle right there. Oh, my yeah. goodness. I have not had the Kirkland stuff, Albert. I'm going to. What is Kirkland? It needs to be Costco? shaped like a trophy. I agree. I like that. Yeah, Kirkland's is the Costco whiskey. Costco. It, needs, it wasn't shaped like a trophy, but it does need to be. How's the Bell Mead Reserve? Freaking fantastic, man. Now, they quit making it, so if you want one, you better go get it. Now, the, the one I'm talking about is the, the black label right there, right? The Reserve. Don't just get any Bell Mead. But the Reserve, they, they used to be barrel strength. They changed it to 109 proof. And then when the distillery got bought, it got rebranded as like Nelson Greenbrier stuff. And so they quit making the Bell Mead stuff. And so that Reserve is gone. Um, so if you see one, now they've started getting expensive. They used to be like 30, 40 bucks. And I bought a bunch of them at, at 40 bucks, I say a few, um, at like $40 when they when they announced they were going to get rid of them because they're really, really good whiskey. And then now they're like 70, 80, 90 dollars every time I see them. Uh, the Jack Daniels Hero Select. Jill, have you ever tried the Jack Daniels Hero Selection? I think we did try it. We did not try it. It's not, this bottle has not been opened. Really? I think we should rectify that situation right now, though. We talked about it on a stream. We have run our gums. We have just blabbered on about it, but we have not popped the top. Okay. We're going to have... This is fresh Glen Cairn stuff right here. Yeah, 99 bucks. That's expensive. If you've come across a store and doesn't know what they got, and they're like, hey, hey was it Kyle? <laughs> I think Kyle's in here. Like, Kyle literally went somewhere and bought, like, the barrel strength one, didn't you, Kyle, recently? Which has been gone for years at this point, I think. All right, so it's got dog tags in case it gets killed in action here. We'll be able to identify its, uh, its bottle. Now, these supposedly come from the Coy Hill warehouse. Oh, and they're wow. really high proof, kind of like Koi Hill. Huh. Um, I don't think this one's as high as the Koi Hill I've got over there. This one is 129.6 proof, so or is that five? It's 29 or, well, that one's 142. Okay, well, that, not close. Yeah, 129.6. It's still probably like top five proof of the bottles I've got here on the shelf. So it's still, it's nuclear almost. I don't know, technically, I think 130, 140. I don't know what they consider nuclear. Who cares? Who cares about labels? Why well, we got to label everything? You should blind this one and the Koi Hill at some point. Yes, for sure. I, I concur. You want to do that right now? No. Why not? Because, because the Koi Hill is like really high proof. Yeah, but I'll just leave. You pour them and then I'll try them. Oh, you. No, what you just, you said yeah. me. I said yes. And you're like, no. No, I'm not going to drink it. I didn't have to try it. So yeah, like, yeah, got it. I'm going to do it. What the you leave. Just pick an A and a B, Glen Cairn. Oh, yeah. A do you need me to get the Koi Hill down? No, no, it's on. we moved it down. So it is behind. You see it behind, right? I can handle it. And I've never tried this one. So hit me with, how about, let's do three. Give me A, B, C. You see right there? Hand me that one over there, too. Let me, you see the, the Jack Daniels Select Single Barrel? This get the yeah, get the sea glass. You see the sea glass over there? Hand me both of those. We've got a normal single barrel. This is just a not even a store pick. This is just a normal single barrel select Jack Daniels, brand new, haven't been opened. And these are really high proof, Jill. So if you want to see this go downhill quickly, you probably give me heavy pours here because I'm going to drink every bit of them. I'm not giving you heavy pours then. Because so, I don't want to see anything just make them about down equal, the hill. And then remember which one is ABC. Turn it toward the camera so that there's evidence there. I'm going to leave. Just holler at me when, uh, when you're ready. Just holler at me when you're ready. Holler. Holler. Just remember which one's which, Jill. Uh, remember which one's which, Jill. Because Jill has the memory of a 15-year-old. <laughs> Not, oh, I'll just write it on my phone. Never mind. I don't need no pen. I don't need no pen. I have a phone. Okay. What are we going to put in A? 
Hmm. 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 I don't know. Let's see. Ah! All right. So this is this one. I think that's enough. Because we don't want anything to go anywhere down a hill. Not going down the hill. Alright, so that is... I put a new protector on my phone and it doesn't work right, so it's hard to, like, do anything on my phone now. But we'll survive. Alright, so then... This one. I can't say it out loud because he'll hear me because he is in just the other room. That looks about right. Um. Huh. Oh, okay. And then, last, but definitely not least. All right. Oh, come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. All right. All right, Thomas. You can come out now. We're ready for you. Yes, Uncle Nate. Very carefully. Very carefully. I have to pour those very carefully. I may have been drinking at work the other day, Jill. Here's some dirty Glen cans that were on my desk. What? You're not supposed to be drinking at work. I said may. May means I may not have been. All right. I had to get my hat because we're going to jump on this horse right here. <laughs> ride this one to the ground. I'm going to ride. Okay. Um, these are in. Yeah. Let's get them in the right order here. Got to remember the letters, not the order. Okay. Color-wise, they're similar. This one's darker, it appears. This one's a little more reddish. Maybe. It's a little more reddish. A little more serious. Now, I've never... What's the most you'd pay for a koi heel? Oh, wow. They're, they're going um, for like four or 500 bucks, but I'd pay... I, I don't even pay that for one. You'd pay 500 for a koi heel? If Jill okays it, I'll, I'll, I'll probably go for it. You'd probably get another one for that. That's some good stuff. Oh, it's delicious stuff. Like you, I mean, you sip Put on the, yeah, it. Yeah, slide the bottles back over here, Jill. So and you can don't... See um, you baby it. You you nurture that bottle and you don't. Yeah, you try very hard not to not have any of it. That's the koi heel right there. So I would definitely uh, seize koi heel by the nose. By the nose. By the nose. Wow, that one's interesting. Um, little proof to it, obviously. Um, I don't know what the lowest proofed one is. What is the lowest proof? Is the heroes the heroes is what 120 something? 129.6. I mean, shoot, does this one say I can't freaking see here? But Koi Hills 142.7. This one's 131. See, <laughs> anybody who describes any of these as the lowest proofed one is just uh. full of shit. That's a good whiskey though. There's a lot of good things going on about that one. A. Yeah, A's a good whiskey. All of these are going to be good right, whiskeys. I mean, like, All of these are going to be great bottles. Not I'm curious, though. It's just like the Hero Select. And if if I don't put Koi Hill first, I'm an idiot. Like, that's just that's just where I'm at. So I've got, a, I've got a little bit of reputation here to protect. But, like, can the Hero Select... Like, the Hero Select could be better. So, I, you know, but if, if, I put, if I put the Koi Hill behind the just normal single barrel... Y'all should be doubting. 
You should be down. Y'all should unsubscribe. Not really. I, I don't really mean that. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Please don't me. do that. <laughs> we getting serious, you know, if I'm having water between them. <laughs> Ooh, Tyler is drinking out of Four Roses Old Fashioned. Oh, man. Wow. I don't know how you could even go wrong with either of these. And I haven't tried the... This one's interesting, but the flavors are a little more kind of dark. Um, I don't even know how to explain that. Like, they're just a little more... A little more on the bitter side, right, with the flavors. This one... No, Rick, don't, don't leave us. He says he's unsubscribing now. <laughs> this one's just a little easier. Like, the, there's just a little more going on there to me. Like, this one just is a slight bit, I think, better than A. But it's it's subtle. Like, if you just poured me one of these tomorrow and say, which one is this out of these three? I mean, I can tell you that's Coy Hill. And these two... It's so close, though. Like, it's so subtle. Like, I'm going to probably give B just a slight edge there. Down scale with the $5 super chat. Drinking a $6 super vodka. Chat. Could I shame? There's no shame in that, man. Have a good time. Enjoy what you enjoy. But Appreciate it. But these two it. right here are, like, almost the same thing, right? They are. They're very similar bottles, yes. They, they have everything's the same except for... It's got dog tags. Yeah. And it's supposed to come well, from the like the Koi. It's supposed to come from the Koi Hill warehouse, but realistically, like I can look at those and tell you which one's Koi Hill. That's the difference in Koi Hill. Like I can literally just look at them and tell you which one's Koi Hill. And then yeah. when you smell it, I can tell you which one's Koi Hill. And when you taste it. <laughs> In that order. So, C is Coy Hill, right? Correct? Please. Let me look back at my nose. Please. And determine if C is Coy Hill. Yes, yeah. C is Coy Hill. I knew well, I wasn't going to get that is, one which right. Which one's B? Oh, yeah. Interesting question. Which one is B and which one is A? Because these were very similar. And it could just be the difference in single barrels. Well, I mean... They're like, the they're just the fact that they're both single barrels, I don't think there's a big difference in these. I think it's just a difference in the barrel. Which so one? what do you think A is? Um, I mean, I'm just guessing it's not the Hero Select. It's the normal one, but I who I, I, this is a toss-up. They're so close. Well, make a guess. Okay, normal single barrel. Correct. So, B is the Hero Select. So are you saying I'm right three times? Oh my god! Three gosh. times in one day? It's a record. I need I need a trophy or something. Like, wow! What do I win, Jill? I'm just keeping. What do my I win? Down the rest what do I win, baby? What do I, I'm gonna get you go get go ahead and get your back row. What do I win? I'm done. A hall pass? No, Rick. I don't need that, man. I'm good. I'm gonna take a nap now. Vodka's using for hand sanitizers. Goodness gracious. No. Y'all had me get him right three times in a row. On What's a, up, Rushtonator? That is not right. Uh, five times in a row is what Jason says. Oh, What's no. What's the opposite of a strikeout? A home freaking run. Yeah, you did a home run on that one. Good job. Already won. Yes, but these are, ooh, these are a lot of proof. This is my last pour of the night. <laughs> Gonna burn the place down with all the rightness. Oh, man, that one is just, I'm telling you. That is special. That's a, yes. Like that just the just color special. difference. Like I don't know if y'all can see it, but this one is just red. It is yes. just it is literally just a like I looked at the glasses and I'm like, see I knew see I knew as Hill. soon as and if you look back in the video, as soon as I poured this one, I'm yeah. like that's not even fair. I think I even said that's not fair. Like it's just he's different. gonna know. This is different. Yeah, he's like Coy Hill is not a like you think it's like, oh, they just did a single barrel pick. And it's, um, you know, it's higher proof. No. Coy Hill is different. It is it a is. different animal. We're the champion, my friends. Gosh. 
We'll your prize, is, to your prize is only four days in Disney instead of five. Oh, that's I'll take it. If I, so I lose a day for so, every time I'm right. No, 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 no. You only have to go for four. You can just stay in the hotel on the fifth day. <laughs> <laughs> She's not driving back. Oh yeah, the cone. Oh, my time with the phone is over. All right, <laughs> Dad's Kale, take it easy. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> All right. Man, it gets a little crazy here sometimes. Gets a little crazy. Ooh, I'm getting hot. As I'm getting hot. I got, I'm, I'm, I've won so much, Jill, I'm getting overheated here. Uh -huh. Is Coy Hill it's hard to find? Yes, Coy Hill is impossible to find, Darian. That's why it's going for like $500 on the secondary last time I checked. Um, I traded. I, I, you can't talk about these things. I'm, I'm, I made some situations happen to acquire that bottle. I think we got to slow down on this bottle. It's already down to here. Well, I mean, it, at the price you approved it, I can get another. Okay. You coming up with the money? You going to pay for half? <laughs> no answer? Sure. Okay. Just make sure Eagle Rare is on hand at the bar when you're at Disney again. Exactly. That's great. The proof sweats. That may be what it is. It's, it's, it is a little warm and stuffy down here. Moved on to Widow Jane 10. Started with steak and buffalo trace. That's good stuff, man. There's just no way I could actually drink a whole pour of that, but it is so It is so freaking good, yeah. 700 now online. Well, online's Ooh. dumb. Don't do that. The one bottle you would buy under $100. Seriously, go get you. If you haven't had them, Tyler, the best bourbons for beginners were all exceptional bottles under $100 that I recommended. There's like eight of them under a hundred bucks. Fantastic pours, right? Eighteen dollars. Evan Williams bottle and bond. Almost what I picked for Jill in this blind. Really, really good whiskey. I got to go back up to Eric's comment. He said Jill admitting TJ is right is making wives everywhere cringe. There are. Are there any wives watching? But let and me are just, they cringing? Let me just say, in twenty five years, and he's right three times in one live stream. I mean, that's. I have to admit that, right? Like you know. In twenty, I had to give him something. I'm right all the time. The camera's just not rolling. That yeah, oh yeah, that's convenient. That the camera's not rolling. It is convenient. Yeah, convenient for you. For you. It's convenient for you. Hello, I, what was it? It was, uh, Allie. It was in uh, Shawshank Redemption where he said, "Seeing how I'm innocent, I find it decidedly inconvenient." <laughs> E.H. Taylor of under yeah, if you get E.H. Taylor for under hundred bucks, that's definitely a good one. Appreciate it, Tyler. Somebody's watching from the gym. See, watching they're getting the their gym. workout that, on. Yeah, we're just we're just drinking whiskey and getting fatter, and they're over there getting their workout on. Well, I've actually Lagrange. Um, I don't know. I don't know all the stores in Lagrange. What is it like the beverage outlet or whatever right off the interstate there? I've I've gotten a couple of good bottles there. Broke clock is twice is right twice a day. But I've been right three times, so I'm better than a dang <laughs> clock. I go to Branson Brown Derby Liquor Store in Springfield. I've been to Springfield once. Husbands are right frequently. Wives just ignore us. Uh, yeah, no. we went to Springfield once. You went with yeah. me, I think. I think so, yeah. Yeah. We went up there to one of our competitors and hung out. Where? Well, that's where you went to some doctor or something. <gasps> Right. The camera footage that isn't necessary isn't recorded. <laughs> Plenty of good whiskey. Yeah, there's a ton. There's literally, well, we're not going to get into too much Irish. I don't know much about Irish, Scotch, Japanese, but there's tons of bourbon. He mentioned Scotch twice. That's how much he likes Scotch. Look, I'm, I'm a Scotch fan of what I've tried. I need, Uncle Nate, I need your suggestion. I was also I right when I picked you, you according to Matthew. Aw. Now he was right on that one. Yep. Only thing I've ever gotten right. <laughs> me and Amelia. Sometimes Grace, I question that one though. We went to have dinner the other night together, okay. me and Mimi, and I was telling her because she asked me about how we met, and uh, we were re rehashing our okay our meeting in high school and Spanish yeah. class. Spanish class. Yep. Hola, cómo está? Tú es muy bien, no? Benny's is good if you mean Illinois. Yeah, that's where he's talking about Illinois. Because or well, actually, we're gonna be in Branson. So maybe, well, it's actually maybe. Saddlebrook. Saddlebrook? Okay. Well, you're going to be in Saddlebrook. I'm probably just staying here now and get some work Why? done. Because you de-invited me. I did not de-invite you. Jared from Pennsylvania is in the chat. Hi, Jared. 
Paducah. I have not been to Paducah. Paducah. In Pennsylvania, it, jealous of the end. Dude, I'm in a state-run state here myself. So, Lynn is new to the channel. Welcome, Lynn. Welcome. I appreciate you hanging out. Bench floor, benchmark top floor is 17. It's not 17 here. It's over 20. Like, I can't get in Alabama. I got to go over to Georgia, and it's over 20. But it is fantastic. So is the bonded. Like, a lot of those benchmarks are fantastic. I'm not dismissing Irish whiskey. So you'll see the video. Watch the short that comes out this week. I've got one Irish whiskey I like. I found one. I was like, this is pretty good. And so the video is just like asking for recommendations on Irish whiskeys I should try. Mm -hmm. Because they're, I don't think there's any scotch in the world I like. I honestly think. But I think there's some Irish whiskeys I could enjoy. I think you would much prefer scotch if you were in Scotland. I don't think so. I would think I I think I would get my ass beat if I told them how much I hated Scotch while I was in Scotland. Oh. I'd literally just get beat to death by a bunch of Irish guys. It's going to take four <laughs> of them, but they're going to get it done. <laughs> well, then you just don't tell them how Scottish much you guys, don't I like guess. it. You just yeah. say, yeah, it's it's okay. Scottish guys. I, say, I think I'm going to say Irish. Irish guys. But, yes, Scottish guys will murder me. Tyler's from Mississippi. Brist Iced Tea and Wild Turkey 101 makes for a great wow. Twisted Tea. It's got to be better than Twisted Tea's own whiskey. To happen to like Jim Double Oak, I've got some up on the top shelf there. It's pretty good. I didn't love it, but it's decent. I like it a little better than Jim Beam. Paducah's close to the Bourbon mm -hmm. Trail. Some rare finds. Awesome. I'll have to oh, check wow. that out if I've ever... I'm, yeah, Red Breast 12, Jason, is the one that I like. Ireland is the birthplace of whiskey. See, that's where we should go. You said Scotland. We'll go both. We'll go both. Why not do it all? Why not just do it like, all? Budget? Oh, yeah, that word. Uh, not in a state run. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I I put a lot of effort into the selection, so I'm, I'm lucky in that <laughs> regard. I'm able to put the effort into it. Uh, yeah, Jesse, I don't know about bourbon secondary places to buy. Like, realistically, most of those places are scams or they're overcharging. Uh, we're in Opelika, Tyler. Do they call it Scotch in Scotland, or do they just, they just call, call it water? water. It's a good, or at least whiskey. I'm assuming they call it Scotch. Like I assume they they've trademarked the name. Like we bourbon's an American thing, Scotch is a Scottish thing. So I assume they call it Scotch. But it'd be interesting to find out. We should go and find out. Adam got a Buffalo Trace. Most of the other stuff in your beginners guide is better. Nice. I appreciate it. I mean, it's good. Like, I, that, that's what the thing is, is you try a bunch of them. Like, the whole point is try a bunch of stuff that's cheap. Find out what you like, right? Jameson Black Barrel of Trial. have to do that. Green Spot is the best Irish whiskey. Green Spot green actually spot. drops. They're actually dropping Green Spot this month in the Alabama ABC lottery. So you're saying, because I wasn't going to go over there. I wasn't going to go to the Alabama ABC limited release in Auburn, I was going to go to one of the smaller stores. Now I'm going to check and see. I think there was a green spot. Let me check it here. Hmm. So the it? one on Saturday? Yes. Monthly release, February limited release. Auburn right here gets green spot Irish whiskey 80 proof. That's all it is. It's just green spot Irish whiskey 80 proof. But there's like a 100% chance that makes it all the way through the allocation and is just there if I go back in the yeah. afternoon. Right? I know we're talking scotch. It's crazy. I'm not talking scotch. I'm trying to avoid it. She she doesn't care anything for scotch. She's just trying to get a trip to Scotland. That's not true. Okay, you want a scotch? Right yeah. now. Try scotch. Right now. Grab a Glen Cairn. Grab a Glen Cairn. Grab a Glen Cairn. Grab a Glen Cairn. No, you have to give me the one I liked. I'm going to let you try a real scotch. No, the one I liked the other day that Which we tried one? online. We tried on the stream. I'm going to let you try a new one. Grab a Glen You can't give me trying something yucky. But you like scotch. I liked the one that I tried. What if I said this one was named Isla? I think that's... Is that the one I tried, Uncle Nate? Help me out. <laughs> I can't remember Uncle Ardbig? Nate. Ardbig? No, that's not the one I tried. Nope. I did not like this ten. one. Ardbig 10. Right here. I don't here. think I liked this one. Scotch. You love scotch, baby. What are you talking about? Did you, I like this you one? You love scotch. You love all scotches. It was this one, Uncle Nate? Okay. I can't remember. You gave me like two that day. Give me the Coy Hill. 
It does, you have that correct. It does have my granddaughter's name, though. It's spelled so. differently. It is spelled a little different. It just has a Y. It adds a Y to it, which is what I, I would have, you know, I add Ys to all of our kids' names. Except for Will. Plain regular Jack Daniels. I never really liked it. Which is why I only drink flavored. I think plain regular Jack Daniels is good, just not neat, right? It's a mixer. Um, what is the other Scott you have? Well, I mean, I have, um, I have the Caribbean cask. Balvity Caribbean cask. I have that. Um, I just got the Black Bull, like the 50-year-old scotch that we haven't opened yet, but I, you, you didn't try that. I have some other single malts, but I think that's the only scotch. Leave some Ardbeg. I, I'm going to leave it because I'm not drinking that crap. I think I do remember that it, it doesn't smell the best. It does not smell the best. Tasted. You are you are Better accurate. You are accurate when you say this crap does not smell the best. You will also be accurate when you say it does not taste the best. No, see that's what I see. I remember now. ADHD whiskey, Matt Porter in the hey, chat, man. Matt. Appreciate you swinging by. I remember. It does not smell the best, but it doesn't taste Lord the way. Have mercy, is that water? Like is that clear? It looks clear. Like that I've seen. We got let's let's uh let's uh we're clear. gonna hold on we're gonna we're gonna fix this situation right here Lulu. We're gonna show like this looks like this looks like if you if you had just rusty pipes in Alabama, this is what you would have right here. This is what it would look like. Just some good old fashioned city water right there in Alabama. That's what that looks like. <laughs> it does not. Yep, yep. It it does not smell great. I will say that it um, the smell is off putting, but it tastes better than it smells. Nate, your your cowboy and uh, whatever that other one was is coming to you. I just I, it's kind of hard to pack it. Like I don't, this, they're just difficult to pack. So they're coming. She's picking up the person who mails stuff for me is picking up some stuff tomorrow. I'll see if she has some ideas on how to pack that up. <laughs> what is it? Mr. Salty says, I need to do all the pouring from now on because I don't spill a drop. Well, I mean, if you want to spill this, just go ahead. Like, we'll just pour it out. Like, just, just. Thomas, stop. What? Oh, my goodness. You're like a little kid sometimes. Sometimes. Why aren't, why aren't you giving me enough credit? <laughs> okay. All the time. All the time. I'm like a little kid that's right all the time. Get my coil heel back. I thought you liked scotch. I said I, I didn't. I'll be honest with you. It burns my nostrils. You need to get this crap away from me. Like, you need to put it over there. Like, I don't even want to smell it. It just smells like a bunch of rubber bands in whiskey. It's soaking in. If, if uh, Doka Ryan's like, we're going to soak rubber bands in whiskey for a week <laughs> or until something interesting happens, we've created scotch. Oh, my God. I really like his channel. It's pretty funny. It's it? so yeah. funny. Don't get all pory. What are some recommendations, if any, on how to really get started on drinking whiskey? I've re I'm a recent college grad with a younger palate. So, uh, Frogs, first of all, what you want to do is, I've got a video on this channel, Top 5 Whiskey for Beginners. Start there, right? Low proof stuff, easy sippers. Try to start getting to where you can enjoy it neat. So start with low proof. Have a little pour every once in a while. Just kind of get your palate acclimated to it and grow from there. I've had that one, uh, Deathicon, is that what that is? Deathicon, Death, Deathicon, Deathicon. Mm -hmm. I've had it. I did not like it. Mixy, mixy. No, this is like throw away, throw away, throw away. I'm going to do some Malort here pretty soon, but Drew, don't, like, don't start with Malort, frogs. Don't start with Malort. <laughs> Pour on the floory, I mean, exactly. I, I'm not right all the time. I am right all the time. That's what I am literally right all the time. This is hot garbage. You need a. This is horrible. <laughs> what, who the. Like, this is. I don't trust your judgment if you like this. Just saying. Why you got all the coy heel? Like, share. Okay. Like, you share. Just pour. Like, oh, whoa, whoa, that's got a little. Here, share. You're never going to finish that. <laughs> Need to have it cold over a giant ice cube? Hey, I respect it, just not my jam. I mean, I didn't say I want to drink it all the time, but, like, it's not as horrible as you say it is. Okay, so, uh, Shah, um, 
And, and we get a lot of comments, so maybe I've missed some of yours. Can I find the Crown and Coke live? What do you mean? What am I doing? Like, explain to me. You want to? You want me to try Crown Royal and Coke? Because we're starting a vi we're starting a channel to do just mixed drink stuff. Um, cause we try to stick to more whiskey bourbon here and a little, we do some mixed drink stuff, but not a lot. Um, but if you want me to try crown and Coke, I don't have any Cokes right now in the house at all. So I can't do it live Zero Coke. and I don't have any crown. I have flavored crown, but not like a regular crown, but we're going to get some. So I'll, I'll do that at some point in the future. Tastes like a liquid problem. You think scotch is bad. My Lord will make you hate life. Ooh. <laughs> Doug's comes, what comes on Monday or Wednesday? I don't know. Where'd I get the Ardbeg? I just stopped at a liquor store and bought it. Maybe he means his barrel pick comes on Monday. Maybe, hopefully. I don't know. His Glen Cairn, his, his Scotch. I, I don't, there's a lot of conversations going on right now. I don't know. <laughs> the bar top, right? Yes. Three great whiskeys and garbage. That's what it is. Four, four, <laughs> one real, one pretty good whiskey. One, yeah, a pretty good whiskey. And then one great whiskey, two really good whiskeys. And it's like the it's like uh, Sesame Street, right? On Sesame Street, y'all y'all gotta be some of y'all are too young. Y'all probably didn't watch Sesame Street, right? Y'all had cable. Y'all did y'all weren't restricted <laughs> to like three channels in PBS. Yeah. But Sesame Street had this thing when you were a kid, they would show you three things and they'd be like, one of these things is different. Than the other, which one is different than the other? And then they would just keep doing that, and you had a little time to pick. This one is the one that's different from the other, because this one is the one that needs to be poured down the drain. <laughs> I know it still exists, but nobody watches it. Yeah. <laughs> Sesame Street for the win. Y'all didn't think y'all were going to get some Sesame Street. <laughs> we keep drinking this Coy Heal. Y'all might get some Mr. Rogers in a minute. Who the hell knows? <laughs> Popular drink in Canada instead of Jack. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, Sean. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get some regular old Crown Royal. And I've drank a lot of Crown and Coke. I went to Vegas. I was at Fremont Street. Not this trip, but the last trip. Went to took Will. Went to Fremont Street. That was actually last year, almost a year ago. Um, and they didn't have Jack and Coke. They had like the frozen Crown and Coke. So you stop at the end of Fremont, and they had these frozen drinks, and they had a frozen Crown and Coke. It was freaking delicious. I'm going to so be honest. So that's not when we went with y'all. It was not. No, it was oh, just me okay. and Will and Alex. Sesame Street was for badasses. Oh, uh, it's mostly a bunch of woke, dumb stuff nowadays. Sesame Street, I don't know. Back in the day, it was cool. You see Big Bird, man. You had an Oscar, you know. Like, there wasn't a whole lot of, like, it, Elmo. That was, that was, Elmo was later. Was it Sesame Street that had the, um, you remember, like, it was a part of the show where it was a train. And that's Mr. You talking about Mr. Rogers, aren't it? Was that Mr. Ro oh, that was Mr. Yeah, Rogers. Yeah, where he had the train, went back to the yeah. stupid. Pu oh, I hated the puppets. Oh, I love. I liked it. Mr. Rogers. I thought the puppets were like the dumbest thing oh, I'd ever seen in my entire them. life. Every time the puppets come on, I'm like, I'm turning this crap off. I don't give a dang about any puppets. Oh, I loved it. It was so hokey and dumb. I hated the puppets. Were you a kid I, when you hated oh, the puppets? Oh, yeah, I hated the puppets, Gio. I hated the puppets. That's I thought the puppets were stupid. Oh, my goodness, no. No, the puppets were stupid. 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 The, like, <laughs> hey, I've had they some high-proof stuff and my mouth's dry. So it's a little combination now. I'll give you that. <laughs> Those stupid puppets. I love the puppets. Snuffy. Snuffleupagus. Snuffleupagus. <laughs> I love The trolley, it. yeah. So they had yeah, the, trolley the trolley that went back. Yeah. Oh, no, the puppets were loved dumb. Loved it. They had like the little, the little princess in the castle loved and it. all the townspeople. It was so, God, loved that was it. so dumb. It was I'm awesome. like seven years old. I'm like, what are these people smoking? <laughs> like, this guy's got to be high to come up with this stuff. I didn't even know what high I was at the time. I was like, he got to be drunk at least. Like, this guy's got to be like a case of Bud Light in to come up with this crap. <laughs> this is some dumb stuff. I loved it. Uh, like, I like Mr. Rogers, but, like, the puppet stuff just, oh, that got me. It's kind of like Pee Wee's Playhouse. You remember that? I didn't like Pee Wee's Playhouse. That's pretty dumb, too, man. The chair talked to you. I was like, yeah. what are we doing? I never liked that. What are we doing? Why are we treating kids like idiots? That was my thought all the time. I never liked it. Uh, sorry. Uh, like, if y'all want us to just talk about whiskey, we can do that. We can get back to it. We can dial it back in, Jason. If you want me to dial it back in, Jason, we'll dial it back in. <laughs> I thought it was a fun conversation, but apparently not. Apparently not. Mm -hmm. They don't want to relive our childhood. Yep, 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 yep. 
Have you tried Southern States? I have not tried it, Chris. Appreciate you watching, though. Tips on convincing your wife to let you spend money on a whiskey collection. Okay. For a friend. <laughs> for a friend. So here are two tips. I just got to prove for she going she going to tip in 250 bucks for a Koi Hill. Um, so she just agreed to pay half of a Koi Hill. Yep. So here here are two tips from somebody who's obviously done it right. With three tips. We're going to go with three tips. Tip number 1, marry right. If you make the wrong choice, you have no chance with the other things you're going to try to accomplish. <laughs> 2, Make it in her best interest for you to have a whiskey collection. It's like, baby, this Brusel thing's got a lot of opportunities. We're going to make a bunch of money, and you could spend some of that money going to Disney all the freaking time. <laughs> and she's like, well, maybe this is a pretty good idea I should support. We're not making any money now. It's a negative. We're losing a bunch of money. But someday this may fund some Disney trips or something. It's not going to. But don't tell them that. And then third... Get them into bourbon as well. Like, that's the only way it's ever going to really work is where, and she's not super into bourbon. She likes bourbon, but then she gets on the live stream and she's starting to sample things. She's starting to find things she likes. She's starting to explore some bourbon. Like, y'all think I just bring her on here because she's cute? <laughs> no. I'm getting some benefit from this. She just agreed to buy a Koi Hill. <laughs> Lord have mercy. So, there you go. Three, three or four tips. I don't and know. I, I love lost how count. you just like put your hand in front of him. Like Monty Hall here. What's behind door number one? Oh, goodness. Why don't I? Why don't I open a liquor store, Jill? We got Alabama's just a dumb place to open a liquor store. Like you're, you're really not going to get any allocated stuff. It's not. If I were in another state somewhere, it would make sense. And honestly, someday I may, but it'll probably be online only. I did pick well. I, I did like, okay, so Reagan, I did not pick well. I got lucky. Okay. Thinking through the long-term ramifications of your partner selection was not the things that were forefront of my mind when I was 18 years old and me and Jill ended up 17 years old when we really started, started um, you know, our relationship here. So it, it, it was just luck. That's really what it boiled down to, right? It was just dumb luck. <laughs> what makes bourbon taste like rubber? I, I, I putting rubber in it? Like, I don't know. It doesn't taste like rubber to me, Lynn. So pl apply those tips. Like, first of all, pick wisely. If you're already married, you may, like, divorce may be step one. I don't know. No. I don't know. It might be. What? If he chose poorly. No. No. Like, that's... That is probably one of the tips. It's just kind of, you got to have a partner that's willing to negotiate and is reasonable. First tip, don't listen to him on what he just said. I'm just, I'm just, I was making that's a joke. That's never the answer. Jill's killing my jokes. Well, because sometimes your jokes ain't right. i got to kill them when they ain't Midwinter right. Midwinter Night's Dram, Jill. What do you think about High West Midwinter Night's Dram? Um, I don't remember. I know I've had that. You've had it several times. Because it's. It's up here some. I think it's over here. It's in the rye section. It's right behind me on the bar. Bottle. It's right here behind me on the bar. It's finished rye. Yeah. Jill kills my jokes. We had somebody, I had a buddy here the other day, and uh, he was talking about how awesome Jill was. And I was like, Jill's not that awesome. Baby, your wife just sucks. And Jill's like, oh. I, Afterwards, I'm like, what kind of, who says that to somebody? And he's like, no, nah, he understands. He, he knows I was just joking. We were just kidding. <laughs> She buys yarn, I buy whiskey. What? Don't say that to somebody. You cannot choose poorly if you do not choose. That's true. Yep. Phobos said that. That's true. Christmas in a bottle. Midwinter Night's Dram. When's uh, the you haven't tried it? How about bourbon and Lincolns? I love Lincolns. I love bourbon. I need to buy another Lincoln. You want to buy another Lincoln? I haven't finished the Lincoln I've got. I'm still fixing problems with it. No. We can't buy nothing I else. saw a picture Why today, Jill. I saw a picture today. Like I'm in like a Facebook group for like bourbon lo or bourbon lovers. Bur for, I'm in I'm in some of those too, but for for uh, Lincoln lovers. Lincoln lovers. And they posted what like Ford did not make this car, right? They didn't make it. Somebody bought one and had it customized, oh, but it was a 1972 like Maggie coupe two door 
Lincoln Continental Ooh. convertible. Ooh. They made a coupe. They did not make a convertible. So they took the convertible top from a, a Ford LTD and had it like had a Lincoln Continental convertible made. So there's at least one of those out there in the world. And I want it so freaking bad. Like I want it worse than I want another bottle of Koi Heel. I would take that too. So bad. But oh, I love Maggie. As far as I know, there's only one, so I'd have to have it made if I was gonna do one. I love some Jill Maggie. is a cool gal, for sure. I am a cool take it easy, Mac. Best starter whiskey, Tipperary. There's a video on the channel. I've got like eight of them. Top five bourbons for beginners. I go over eight. Bourbon lover groups on Facebook are awesome. I mean, it's fun, but like it's, they're either like some, a bunch of people trying to sell you whiskey or it's a bunch of people trying to show off. You've like the popular thing is like, say something really dumb, right? So they're like, oh, I just bought a, I bought a freaking, you know, George T. Stag for, $17. Like, it's just people doing dumb stuff. So, it's getting a little old. <laughs> Besides me, who is Will? Oh, well, my son's name's Will. I've got an employee named Will. Um, there's lots of Wills. <laughs> so, if we said Will, that may be who we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, we have a son named Will. I uh, don't understand the old-fashioned fuss. Whiskey is best neat. I mean, it is. Mm. Like, I try to stay away from old fashions because, honestly, old fashions, I just get hammered. Like it, I just get ugly on those because they're so sweet and they're like two ounces of whiskey. And if I pour two ounces neat, I'm going to sip on it for at least 15, 20 minutes. If I put two ounces in an old fashioned, I'm going for like, I'm, I'm through it in like five minutes and I need another one. So I also take a long time with my old fashions too. I love an old fashioned. Uh, Mika, I, you missed me just like shitting on the yard bag apparently because I'm not into it at all. Jill is a little bit into it, it, it appears. I mean, I don't hate it. Uh, the highest proof bourbon I own is this Koi Hill at 142 proof right here. Hmm. I've tried 180, 190 proof stuff, but the hate, yeah, I mean, that's true, Marcelo. If you've got a bottle and you just want to show off, but it's like the post something obviously dumb so that you get a bunch of engagement and people correcting you. It just gets old for sure. Take it easy, Tyler. Where are we at? We're at 942. So we're going to go about 18 more minutes here. Join the Discord if you have it. Thank you, Colton. Appreciate you promoting the Discord there. Uh, I haven't had the rock and roll old fashioned. I need one. The what? A rock and roll old fashioned. I think that's like an old, I think that's like a bottled old fashioned, isn't it? If I'm oh, not right, okay. let me know. I just bought a High West campfire, opened it, and immediately regretted it. Oh. It's been a long time since I've had a campfire, so I can't speak to it. Uh, I have not, Mike, but, or Nike, actually, I thought, sorry, I thought I said Mike. Uh, Nike, I've not tried the Bardstown Origin. Uh, Kyle, I don't know if Kyle's still here. He may have went to sleep, but... Kyle just bought one the other day and he's given me mixed reviews on it. So said he didn't really he didn't really think it was up worth the effort that he had to put into getting it. Mm. Only way I could drink whiskey is Kentucky Mules with Chattanooga. Hey, then enjoy. Like that there's no hate on that. Enjoy it. Take it easy, my, uh the Mr. High Climber. Take it easy, man. Chattanooga whiskey. Chattanooga has a lot of malt in it to me, and so I'm not a huge fan of just the maltiness of it. Jill tends to like it a little better than I do. I'm a manager at a liquor store in PA. You have no idea how many customers you have helped me with. Uh -huh. Well, thank you. I don't know how I helped you with customers, but appreciate it, Kyle. Thank you. Facebook, Facebook whiskey groups suck. Oh, the Brutal Discord's where it's at. Appreciate the uh, promotion there. What was 190? It was a moonshine. It was like a homemade moonshine we... we oh, the one you made. We obtained. We will say that. Obtained. We, 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 you got to be careful what you say. Obtained. It was 190 proof, and you don't want to drink it. I'll just let you know. Every once in a while, somebody... I've still got a bunch of it, and every once in a while, somebody will come by, and they'll be like, oh, I love moonshine. I was like, well, try this. And it's not good moonshine. It's like turbo yeast with just sugar water. <laughs> it's not good moonshine. And it's been aged on like some oak staves forever at this point. That stuff's probably two or three years old on oak. It is still sitting on oak staves. But they're like, oh, I love it. I was like, no, we need to water it down. Like, let's take a look. No, I want it full strength. 
And then they got to go take a nap in their car. So <laughs> that's happened a couple of times for sure. Loved you trash in Disneyland's eat lies about an eagle. Uh, yeah, that's. And I, you know, I don't want to say somebody's defrauding or they're intentionally doing something because that has a lot of negative connotations. But that sucked. I'll be honest. We a lot of we had a lot of conversations, Jill and I, off camera, just like like is this how big of a deal should we make about this? The fact that they said they made an old fashioned with eagle rare and they made it with bullet rye. Like, how big of a deal is that? Like, I don't know. And so we, I just like, I'll just film it. And then the editors decided what stayed and what went, right? So it was a thing. I don't know how big of a deal it is to most. To me, it's like, if it's a good old-fashioned, yeah, it was I don't a great really care. Old fashioned. But like, you're using Eagle Rare. Like, just say, hey, we're out of Eagle yeah, Rare. It's on I the agree. menu as Eagle Rare. Or just don't say the whiskey on the freaking menu. True, and I do agree that they should have said, hey, we're out of Eagle Rare, we're going to use this. And we would have been like, oh, sure, no problem. Um, Maybe the guy who weighed on us was new. Maybe he didn't know. There's a lot of things that could have happened. You know, we'll give them benefit of the doubt. You know, they did ask us, you know, hey, you want us to give you another one or whatever. So they, they tried to make it right. Yeah. They tried to make it right. But it still just, you know, kind of sucks. It did, but there was a great old fashioned. I, it, was it was pretty. My favorite. It was well until no, 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 no. The, the next one was, one was the next. Yeah. Trader, enjoying the channel, love the shorts. Excited. Hey, the long forms are a lot of fun, especially the bourbon hunting stuff. But we do a lot of bourbon reviews and things as well. So check those out. I know a guy who can't drink meat. I gave him a bottle of one hundred and twenty-seven proof rye, so he had at least kind of tasted in a cocktail. 127 proof will definitely cut through whatever you mix it with. Moonshine can power your lawnmower. We're going to try it. At some <laughs> point, we're going to we're gonna start a new channel where it's about things other than bourbon. So we're going to try. We're probably going to put Everclear in that lawnmower and see what happens. I'm going to find a whiskey that will power that lawnmower. That's our goal, to start that channel. Marcelo calling me Mr. I feel old now. Loves when I go to the wild and hunts for bottles. Uh, yeah, so we should have one or two of those coming over the next week. We've got one kind of film. It's not exactly wild. I go hang out with a friend. We drink oh, the whole yeah. BTAC lineup from this year. We do a little hunting. And then we've got the whole video where we, like, road tripped back and did yeah, some hunting. Road trip back home. Um, that one, it, that's a lot of clips, though. So it might be a few weeks before that one comes out. But we try to film as many of those as we can. I just can't afford to go hunting all the time at this point. Yeah, we were going to film one in New Orleans on the way back, but we decided I'm we just would... just ready to get home. We would go back for that one. Yeah. Top five weeded bourbons that's not Weller. I don't have a ton. I probably only own four or five weeders that's not Weller. Um, the Rebel Distillers Collection is pretty good, and we're talking about doing a barrel pick of that. Larceny Barrel Proof. Like, I don't love just larceny, but the barrel-proof stuff's pretty good. The Old Elk Weeded I have behind me is pretty good. Maker's Mark FAE-01, like their wood finishing series or their high-proof stuff's pretty good. Don't know if I own another weeder at this point, so that's kind of where I'm at. I'm going to skip some of these. I apologize. New Orleans in the house. Appreciate it, Gene. Uh, I have not tried the Kentucky Owl St. Patrick's Blend. Baltimore, there's a lot of counties terrible for, around here, honestly, it's terrible for bourbon hunting unless you go to the drops. Next month, I'm going to film the quarter, the quarterly lottery from Alabama for sure. So what am I supposed to look for to judge mouthfeel? Good question, Colton. I appreciate that. So what I'm looking for with mouthfeel is I'm looking for viscosity of the whiskey, right? So the thickness of it. Like, how well does it coat? Like, you can kind of look at how well it coats the Glen Cairn. So, this was one of the Jack Daniels things we did there. And it's got a little thickness to it. Y'all can't really see it, but it's dripping down a little bit. Not a great, um, like, drip on the glass. 
but I'm looking at like how thick is it? How well does it coat the mouth? And that comes with experience. Like once you find one that has that viscosity, that thickness to it, it's going to really stand out. And so you'll be able to understand. So this one, the mouthfeel on this one's not exceptional. It's good. It's not exceptional. So, and why, why I like mouthfeel is the thicker it is. So the thicker it is, the better it's going to coat the palate, the better I'm going to pick up all of those flavors, the more kind of creamy, buttery, smooth it's going to taste. And so mouthfeel matters to me a lot more probably than it does to a lot of folks on a whiskey. Um, now, what affects mouthfeel? The proof, like that's definitely a higher proof thing, but also whether or not it's filtered. If it's not filtered, it's liable to have a better mouthfeel. If it's non-chill filtered, it's liable to have a better mouthfeel. Once they chill filter it, that takes out a lot of the like kind of oily, fatty stuff in the whiskey. Um, that chilling just kind of solidifies some of that stuff and they extract it in the filtration and it ends up just thinner. And a lot of people are gonna say, oh, it's thinner, it's just smooth, it's easy, but it just kills all the flavors to me. Four Roses Small Batch Select is creamy. I don't have any small batch select. I drink a lot of it. When we go down to the beach, that's my beach whiskey. Do you have your Four Roses? Yeah, but I don't have a small batch select. Okay. All right, Blue, Blue Note Juke Joint Uncut. I have not had it. I have a bottle. It's a store pick. Um, we're going to, it'll be probably in the next batch. I don't control what's in the batches because they're all blind. I don't want to know. So I don't. I don't say what's in the next batch of blinds, but I, it is on the list of things to consider for the next round of blinds. So I'm hoping a review of Blue Note comes out soon. And honestly, I hope I love it because I'd really like to reach out and do a barrel pick with them if it's as good as everybody says it is. Bennett lives in Utah, but is from Alabama. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Appreciate you watching. Still have yet to try the special make the the like normal makers is not wonderful. Forty six, don't love it. Like I don't love French oak finished, but the high proof maker stuff is really really freaking good. Have you tried a? I'm, you probably had I'm, enough whiskey yeah, at this point. I'm good. Next time we'll try high proof maker stuff. Most stupid stooges will overpay for a few forty dollar drinks. Hey, you know it's. Sometimes the environment is just worth paying a little more for a drink. I will admit yeah. that, but I can't do it on the regular because I'm cheap. Uh, what is a bourbon around $50 to $60 that has a good, exceptional mouthfeel? Let's try, we're going to have just a little sample here of Rare Breed. I haven't, it's been a while since I've tried Rare Breed, right? So this is one that I say is an exceptional whiskey, but I'm not sure about the mouthfeel. It's okay. Like we're just having a little, I'm just testing the mouthfeel. So it's not a huge deal. Mouthfeel's good, not great. It's good, but it's not like the best ever. I don't know. Like, I don't know an answer to that right now. I would have to look at the Brusel score stuff to try to figure that out. I, I would have to look at the score. I, I'm sorry I don't have an answer for you right now. Blue Note's a little sweet, but good. Awesome. Do you have Blue Note yet? Uh, I have a Blue Note uncut, unfiltered. I have one that's like honey cask finish. That's like Blue Note, just juke joint, honey mm -hmm. cask finish. Somebody... Like somebody did the honey finish, not Blue Note themselves. Oh. So it's a little over honeyed. Um, but I have an uncut, like high proof, uncut, unfiltered Blue Note. But I just haven't opened it yet, mm. right? It's just going to end up in one of the blinds. I've been saving it. Like I want one. I want the first try of that to be in one a of the blind. blinds. Yep. Oh, that should be interesting. For sure. What are the questions do I need? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, the lie about what they're offering, Downscale, I understand. Yeah. All good. All good. 
Uh, on the off the top of your head, what do you think is better, Angels Envy Rye or the Midwinter Night Stram? I have not had Angels Envy Rye. I haven't had it, so I don't know. Could couldn't tell you. I'm not a huge fan of the Midwinter Night Stram. I like it. It's a good whiskey, but it is a blend of a lot of different finished rye, and I don't love finished. And I'm I'm just okay on rye at this point. So. I like midwinters. I try to keep one in a backup bottle, but it's not something I buy every freaking release of. Uh, Jonathan, the Red Breed Rye is on my list. I need to buy one for sure. I'm going to pick one up. I haven't had it, but I'm going to pick one up. I've had the 101 Rye, and it was really good. If you're going to offer Eagle at cost, less than Jack, there's some questions. Oh, for sure, Downscale. Like the whole, that whole menu with Eagle Rare was a question. My guess is, is that menu is like five years old oh, yeah. and they just have not updated it for the times. That's, yeah. that's my guess at the Disney stuff for sure. Blue Note Uncut Unfiltered is delicious and one of my favorites for sure. I'm looking forward to it. I really want to try it, but I'm trying to save it for when it ends up in a blind. Nice, Colton. I appreciate it. Jack Barrel Proof is pretty good. 1920. Grab that 1920 for me right there, Jim. Old Forster 1920, right there. Which one? Old Forster. It says 1920. It's like literally right in oh, front right of your there. face. It says 1920. Yep. There, M Mika. I, I am. I. There is not a single Scotch I have ever found that I like. Not one. Not a sink. Like the only one that's even close. The Balvenie Caribbean Cask. Is pretty good, but I think they just kind of like finished all of the scotchedness out of it. Scotchedness. Yeah. So it's pretty good, but it's not like really scotch forward. And the mouthfeel on that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I still don't think it's great, but it's pretty good. You think the mouthfeel on that one's, it looks good on the glass. Maybe I've just drank too much. I don't know. <laughs> You're giving me clues. Yeah, I think the mouthfeel on that one's probably probably the best one I've had tonight, other than maybe the uh, Koi Hill. Yeah. They did they did think no one would notice for sure. Like who's asked? Nobody's asked. So yeah. Glenn Moranji is highly on the whiskey scene map right now. I've had the ten year, it's good. Tastes like white wine to me, but it's good. I'll have to check that out. Cool. I'm not sure. <laughs> Alexa wanted to get in on the stream. All right. Colton wants to get a Weller full proof, but can't find it here. I mean, $250 is probably cheap for a Weller full proof at this point, honestly. Uh, I didn't like the old Forster King Ranch. I just didn't like it. it. That mesquite finish is just not great to me. You haven't tried it yet, have you? Uh, don't know. I've been answering questions. You've been quiet. You answer questions. Read them. Answer. I'm going to sit I back. I don't have no answers for no questions. Go ahead. What do they got? Um, every time Scotch is trashed, a little bit of Nate's heart dies. I know. and I don't want Uncle Nate's heart to die. Nate can handle it. Okay. Um, John says you like rum. Yeah, we like rum. I do. Like, I don't drink a lot of yeah, rum, but I do like rum. it when I do drink it. Yep. I would... I don't know what that says. Who? Which one? Glenn Morang. <laughs> Glenn uh, Morang. Yeah. It's good. That's exactly. The problem is, is you can't even pronounce most scotches, <laughs> much less drink them. Mm. Yeah. Glenn Morang, I think, yeah. is good, but Glenn Fittick from <laughs> okay. Macallan is best, best I've ever had. Yeah. I just don't think I've had good scotch yet. So you don't like the Arctic? I mean, I, I, it's not something I would drink on a normal basis, no. But I don't think it's like the worst thing I've ever tried can you still find the jim beam white label round bottles i mean you can find jim Lee, jim beam white label but i don't know about round bottles the, nobody gets weller ohio claims they do but realistically it's hard to get everywhere if you ever see uh, a barrel release finished in rum cask grab it i'll have to do that didn't we get a peerless finished in rum something or another you may go, I'll go look. I think, wasn't the one that I tried there at Peerless? Oh, 
I don't know. You had me buy like a hundred bottles from Peerless. I, I did know. not. I had one bottle I wanted, and I think it was finished in a rum something or another. Okay, so there's a rye. Rum equals island dime. I thought we got one that was finished in rum there's or something. <laughs> Keep them entertained. Anything good in whiskey will cost you a good penny. That's true. TJ tries to hide how many good pennies it cost him. But how many I. Pennies what cost me? Your, your whiskey. My whiskey doesn't cost anything. It's profitable. No, that's not true. Nebraska's definitely not the greatest state to find hard to come by bourbon. <laughs> We've never been to Nebraska, have we? I've never been to Nebraska. Never been to Nebraska. We should do that. Go to Nebraska? I told ya. Rum barrel finished peerless. We'll try that next week. Yeah. It hasn't yeah. even been opened. <laughs> it is not done. We've I literally just opened the only peerless that I think we we've opened from those. We the, we bought four peerless like four months ago. We just opened one of them. Bourbon whiskey finished in a rum barrel, 112 proof. It was all right. It was all right. We've got a rye back there we haven't opened either. Ezra uh, Brooks is pretty good. You liked Ezra Brooks, especially like the distiller's collection stuff. Okay. All right, guys. It is 10 o'clock. We are going to call it. I appreciate everybody hanging out. We have had a good time. It yes. has been just a ton of fun. Um we're going to do this again next Monday. You're going to be with me next Monday. I still Monday. have my second pour still left. <laughs> of what? Coy Hill? Hill? yeah. She made it through two pours, and I've made it through <laughs> six or seven. I don't know. I was right at least three times. For, no, I got three. either one of those right. And then I was right twice more. That's five times right. I picked each You're and every roll, one of those. You're on a roll, baby. You're on a I roll. I am five times right. On a roll. I am... You, better, you better just go ahead and close it out while you're on a roll. <laughs> because it Lord can, have mercy. Yeah, it's going to go downhill. All right, appreciate everybody hanging out. Good night, I'll, everybody. I'll probably be live. It, it, there's a really high likelihood I will be live Wednesday night on TikTok for at least an hour. So check me out over there. I'll post in the Discord if I'm going to go live. Jill won't be there. But I'll be live probably 7 or 8 o'clock, probably 8 o'clock on TikTok. I'm just hanging out on Wednesday. So we'll catch up with everybody later. If you haven't joined the Discord, do that. If you're not subscribed, what subscribe. are you doing here? I don't know. Maybe hit that subscribe button. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us for a couple hours on this Monday evening. Hope everybody has a good week. And we yes. will catch you all later. Bye.